Hello. Hi, Miss. Um, turn it off over here. Hi, Miss Patricia. It's Nutra Systems. Oh, didn't catch it on time. How are you, Miss Patricia? So we're going to be doing a embroidery group a little bit on the shabby side of life today or to this evening. Waiting, not going to miss this. Thanks, man. You are very welcome. I hope you guys are all staying safe. And just for the record, we went out today. Hi, Clint. My Freitas is a little bit, as you can see, it's a little bit on the... No. Not too bad though. Hi, Miss Tori. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm hoping that Mr. Larson, that I can speak loud enough that Mr. Larson can hear me and he can bring, I don't know what the heck was on my thing here. And he can bring me some coffee. Hi, Paul. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Okay. So. I got a mess. I did not clean up my work surface because I figured um, I'm going to be doing some crazy painting today. Hi, Denise. Happy birthday to your son. Look at that. Wow, I really needed to clean, huh? Thought I cleaned it enough after last night. We gotta guess not. Guess not. I guess not. Didn't do a good job. Hi, Jean. I don't think he hears me, Miss Patricia. He's being a bit of a little smart, but before I came up. Hello, Green Stooges. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I got this for 25 cents, not a bad deal, huh? 25 cents, I don't think I've ever gotten one for this. Small of a price. He's 15, I know, I saw that. My baby will be 16. <laughs> she had a dermatologist appointment today and I totally... I don't know why I thought today was the 15th. For some reason, I thought today was the 15th. Don't know why I had that in, in my head. So I woke up this morning and I laid in bed and going through some something. And all of a sudden, I see 16th and I jumped out of bed and I said, Brianna had an appointment today. So they put her on Accutane. She starts, she has to go through a process before they actually start her on the Accutane. But we've been going through dealing with this acne and paying so much money on this acne situation. And, um, you know, she wants to be an actress and she's taking acting classes and she wants her skin better. Who doesn't want her skin to be better? So we decided to take the aggressive. Hi, Michelle. Shabby sheep time. Absolutely. Uh, so we took the aggressive form. And now we're just, we're just going to. We've tried antibiotics. She's been like on antibiotics for almost a year. They, um, on and off, they put her on antibiotics for a couple months and then they start again. And nothing works, nothing works. So, her skin is just really sensitive to all the ointments that they have out there. 35 tomorrow, oh my gosh. Oh, that's not cool. Hi, Miss Karen. That's not cool, Clint. All right, so 
First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep up my thing with some gesso. 35, wow. First of all, I am not sure. Oh, Miss Patricia, I was able to get that paint for you. Um, it shipped already. We got it in the mail for you, Miss Patricia. Because it was on um, 50% off this week. Your oldest is 48. My gosh. Same age as me, Miss Tori. I'm 48 years 18. I was kidding. Does that make any sense? I'm 48 years 18. <laughs> <clears throat> Nah, Miss Patricia, um, I figured, you know, you, I was going to be doing um, a refund on your partial, on partial shipping. So I just said, nah, so, but it almost averaged out to the same. So no worries. No problem. You could be my grandma. Not, you could be my mom, Miss, Miss Tori. Not my grandma. I'm 48. I'm 48. I'll be 49. I'll be 49 this year. I'm not even going to worry about smoothing it out because I like the textures and things like that. So I'm not. The more texture, the better, I think. I'm not too concerned about smoothing it out. Hey, Laura, how's everyone tonight? Don't forget to smack that thumb, guys. Don't forget. All right. Hey, Thalia, I lost my first baby, so he would have been 49. Aww. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Karen, for doing that, for smacking that thumb. So, yep, last night after I finished here, I cleaned up my mess. Unbelievable how much of a mess I can make. And now I can show you the desk around me because I got laces and stuff all around me it's like how do you do this how do you decide you're going to create something and pull everything out um we're going to say i saw that michelle i saw that but you guys are not allowed out hi rose it's like what the heck i went to let me tell you i went to um dollar tree nothing 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 in the shelves, nothing. And I just went for aluminum foil. Um, and to see if I find a, a paintbrush, because I'm going to alter a paintbrush, as I told you guys. But nothing, nothing at all. Then um, we went to the Mexican store, because it's right next to it. And I wanted, you know, me with wanting to find beans, because I can have beans with anything. I can have beans with dumplings. I can have beans, you know, um, refried beans. I can make um, bean soup. I can do anything with beans, right? Because beans is very affordable. This stuff is causing people money. It's just like insane. It's insane. Not that, you know, we're, we're panicking because we got our shelves pretty stocked up, but it's still kind of like you don't know what you're fighting. What what the heck are we fighting, guys? What is this? What kind of a paintbrush? I will show you the paintbrush that I was able to find. I might go to Harbor Freight tomorrow and find a bigger one. I just kind of was running out of time um, because Brianna's appointment. Y'all can blame Brianna as to why I'm a little. Um, pinto beans, black beans, red beans. You can do any kind. I love them all. I love them all. Um, but yeah, um, 
the Mexican store, guys, it is disgusting what they did. They took bags of rice, they literally opened them up, and they, I know what they did. They filled other bags and weighed them and put price tags on them. There was bags of rice, little tiny bags of rice that's less than, I don't know, Walmart sells them the little packs for 95 cents. They had them for almost three something. A little bag of beans. Again, they opened up bags of beans and they started to fill up other bags of beans for something. Unbelievable. It was just insane. It's like, okay, you guys need to be reported for price gouging. That's taking advantage of pu the public. Um, but anyway, Brianna's appointment took a little bit longer than expected. You guys can blame her because she had to pee in a cup and she's got to get some tests done in order to be on the Accutane. And she couldn't pee. I'm sitting there, child, you need to pee. We were there. I'm thinking we're going to be in there like 30 minutes tops. Heck no. It was over an hour. Over an hour. We love beans too. Nothing beats beans in a hard time. Absolutely. That's what my mom said. Beans, 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 a magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> it's crazy not to roll a toilet paper. No, there's no roll of paper here. But we were pretty set with tape paper and you know i got my theory on paper i'm like uh-uh i am not i've seen the news people are beating each other up over toilet paper no way that is not about to happen somebody put their hands on me or in my cart we're gonna you're gonna i'm telling you guys you guys are gonna see me on cnn abc um fox news because they're gonna say that quarter that crazy puerto rican chick was not about to let it happen <laughs> Oh, you're, you're, see, we don't have that. Now, hey, Karen, they, Aldi, I saw on one of the craft organizing group, they have this really neat storage um, file thingy. You might want to check it out. It's pretty neat. And they were saying it was like $27, I think, or nineteen ninety nine. It was pretty neat for storing your craft stuff. It's, it was pretty awesome. Oh, Miss Karen, you don't have to do that, hon. Beans and rice, baby. Amen. I love beans with anything. Uh, my daughter, Brianna, is a bean lover. She will love, she eats beans, 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 beans. Like I said, bean, beans, and beans, and magical fruit, the more you chew. I mean, the more you eat, the more you do. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely insane. Rose, you know, Louisiana is up 133 now. 133 people and three deaths. It's like we don't know. You have over 300 pounds of beans? Wow. You are a good, you can store things. I see. That's what we need to do. This, this teaches us to start storing. My mom used to buy food when it was on sale just for the heck of it and stock up. And I, I did when I was couponing, <laughs> couponing, it's like, well, after this is said and done, I'm going to learn to always stock up for rainy days in the event of something like this happening ever again. They hacked up the price of a Lysol. What? $25? Now that's illegal. Yeah, they should be ashamed. What the heck is wrong with people? And I just saw that, you know, New Jersey was um, curfew, 8 o'clock. Here we have several cases and they're refusing to close anything down. They were just, the state of Texas is refusing to close anything down. So I went to, Miss Patricia, I went to Hobby Lobby. You should have seen me. I was like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm taking this for you, Miss Patricia. <laughs> <sighs> we have food from Mexico, El Salvador, and Puerto Rico. Really? Where are you living at, Miss Karen? I know I, I know I've shipped to you before, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. I walked in. I walked in for the first time because I have paranoia about certain things, guys. I do. <laughs> and I saw I saw 
Um, not too many people, though, at Hobby Lobby, believe it or not. But I went in, grabbed what I wanted. Same thing with um, Walmart. We went in, grabbed what we wanted, and we were out. Out. Out like a light. I don't think I've ever shopped that fast in my life. And you can ask Eric for that. He's my witness. He'll tell you. I'll walk around <laughs> until I've seen everything a hundred times. <laughs> I have my chocolate coffee. I Ice, you know it, girl. You know it. I told Eric, I don't care what. <gasps> we forgot the coffee today. Darn it, we went to Walmart for that reason. I told Eric, we can be, um, y'all, you know, y'all like your iced tea. And I like iced tea, unsweet iced tea. But I can't function. Y'all don't want to see me go crazy. I, I better have some coffee. I better have some coffee, and this girl better have some ice. So he went and got me two bags of Sonic Ice, just in case, just in case, because ice, if I don't have the coffee, I can at least get away with my, you know, my, my ice. But a girl can't live without her ice. I have tons of cake and sweets in the market. We landed it. Oh, cool. So now you're, you know, that craving you were having for sweets, Denise, you know, now you have the, the, the means to be able not to say no, now you're gonna have to eat that, those sweets. Any coffee in, <laughs> you need your coffee and your weed, oh my God. <laughs> I just need my coffee and my ice. I can live without a lot of things because I don't normally eat until like maybe two o'clock in the afternoon just just to trick my body and um, it's like it's not that I'm starving myself or anything like that or I have an eating disorder but it's just a way to tell my body that it doesn't eat it doesn't eat when it wants to eat it eats when I want it to eat because otherwise I'll be eating like a pig all the time so I control my body for I was eating. Something I saw from Holly Berry. Reading her stuff. And Denise is a lot. She's of two scoops of crazy, I think. But she's a good crazy. Denise is a good crazy. I don't normally buy sweets unless I have you know, one of those sweets attack. Although Eric said he couldn't live without ice cream, so he got ice cream. He must be in the garage because he doesn't hear me about the coffee. Hi, Carrie. I was addicted to eating ice, but now it hurts my teeth. See, I'm addicted to eating ice. I am. That's a really, I'm trying to stop that, that little bad habit. Doesn't bother my teeth. I don't know why I got some serious horse teeth <laughs> got big teeth i guess i don't know we're ice eaters here me and my girls are always eating ice and i started that when i was pregnant with my son don't forget to smack the thumbs guys smack the thumbs up or down because you know we get our little we get our little posses out there that don't like me, but that's all right, guys. Ice cream and cake. Oh my god, that's my weakness, Denise. Hush your mouth. Ice cream and cake. Oh god, girl. I could never say no to ice cream and cake. So, um, I told him, I said, so sure, you can't, you, you can't live without ice cream and you're gonna try to bring ice cream in the house when I'm trying to watch what I eat. Because if I see it, I eat it. So, Michelle, what are you guys, what are they going to do? What happens, Michelle, if, for instance, I didn't see the, I just saw the, um, awesome, thank you, Miss Karen, for giving me the thumbs up. 
So what happens, Michelle, in the event that you are caught? Because I didn't see the story behind it. If you're caught driving um, after eight, what happens? What if there's an emergency? Like, really? What the heck? What's wrong with people? There, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting this whole coronavirus stuff. It's like very confusing. You see people dying, but then at the same time, you see other people saying that, I don't know, this is just crazy. I don't get into politics or anything like that. But this is insane. We're being told that we can't go out of our houses. There's nothing in the store. Just insane, guys. But I guess the best thing is we got crafty stuff to do, right? Oh, sugar, so have to be careful. What? Same. And cancer loves sugar, so have to be careful. No more than 25 a day, I think. Hey, you're wasting no more than 25 a day of what? It's the old one, guys. I know. You know, that's the part that I don't like. The part that, you know, we got a lot of friends. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just horrible. And then you get these young folks. Like, I was walking into Walmart, and there's this lady. She could barely walk. She needed one of those little um, scooters. Um, and trying to find her a scooter. And I'm thinking, what the heck? Got all these people. There was people with toilet paper all over. And they, they didn't have the big pack, so they had, like, the four-packers in Walmart. And then you got all these people that are stocking up on this stuff. And I'm like, man, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is a diarrhea epidemic or what the heck it is. If it's a diarrhea epidemic, sign me up because I need I'm always constipated. My problem is constipation, not diarrhea. Some young, I see. I, I haven't, um, I haven't seen of the younger one, but I was seeing, and you guys know, you guys know that Finnabar, um, Anna, Anna Finnabar, the Finnabar girl, she posted on Tiffany's thing because Tiffany Solario said um, something to, you know, it's very confusing, very conflicting information that's out there. And she wanted to know what's the deal. What are we looking at? You know, we know that what's happening here in the U.S., but what's really happening in other in other countries? She wanted to know from these people living outside of the U.S. My daughter has lupus autoimmune. I'm or at risk. She's only 22. Aww. Hi, Miss Grace. I read today that people need to understand that more food and toilet paper, etc., will continue to be stocked. Yes, they are looking at restocking. So it's not like, you know, you guys got to run out there. Like, I'm, I see all this violent stuff, people beating each other up and taking things out of people's carts um, because they think they're not going to have food. Come on now. Respect. Have some respect. Someone got something in a cart. Um, leave. Leave that person alone. And just move on. Now the person has more than they should, and you know, report it to to the managers. But all these fights are just crazy. Well, anyways, Tiffany wrote something about to China and Italy. What's really happening? Can someone please tell us? Is this something that we need to be concerned of? I learned this, and. Um, Anna commented and she says, this is very real. I mean, you know, it's very scary. It's a very scary times. A lot of places in, in European countries are sh uh, closing down. Other women were saying from, um, Spain that the death rate has gone up tremendously in Spain. Hi, Debbie. Hello. Hello guys. Come on. Um, we got some wonderful crafters here. We got Laura, we got Debbie, we got, uh, Denise, we have Aristi. All these ladies have um, 
YouTube channel. Hit them up if you haven't. I'm sure you guys have, but if you're new and you haven't, click on their names and check their, their channels out. Um, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of really crazy, guys. You ask me. Very, very crazy. All right. What we have is this little napkin that we've used in the past for other projects. And yeah, I should have ironed it, but no, I don't feel like it because it's going to be covered. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that, even though I am a little anal about stuff, but I'm not concerned. Got a lot of um, people are supposed to be taking a little extra are the ones who have, well, did you guys see that the government wants to give like a um, thousand dollars? They're trying to see if, um, this is pretty. It's pretty. Um, if the government would do like a supplemental thing where they give families, because I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. There's families that can't afford, they cannot afford um, to go out and buy food, even if there was something significantly wrong. If there's something that is, you know, remotely wrong, there's families that are in a very tight budget and they don't have the money to go out and get toilet paper or necessities, food, none of that. They don't have extra money laying around to go buy extras of anything at all. 22 in a house. Let's see those thumbs up. Yes, guys. Thumbs up. Who does it? you want the um the uh the link? And the reason I'm doing, I have that one is because I wanted to make it a little bit more sturdier. Let's see. Ah, it's going to go. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Probably not. Let's see. My mom lives with us and she's 83 and very independent. She was upset today because my husband told her she should not go to the store because she wanted to use her coupon. Bless her heart. Oh my God. Bless her heart. <laughs> oh God. You know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell some of our elders that they can't do what they're used to doing and um, you know, you have, let me see, you have, um, hold on, sending a link out. You know, you have the ones that are very independent, um, and then you have the ones that, you know, they can't, they can't. They can't move. They're they're homebound. She felt like she was in solitary confinement. I can imagine. I can only imagine how she felt. Like that is so sad that you know she's now told at 83 that she cannot do something. You know when she's been used to doing it for so many years, um, a certain way. You know it's it's kind of it's kind of sad, but. I guess it's I guess it's just the reality of what's going on in the U.S. You know, it's hard. Everybody, can you hear me? yeah, we can hear you. So it's like it's like um, the reality of of what's whatever's happening in the U.S. Um, that now we have to take precautions to what we're doing. Well, I like this, but we're, we'll have to do that for something else. Ah. She is so funny, Denise. Don't go out. The zombies might get you. Right? 
like scary times, guys. It's very scary times, and I feel bad for our elderly, our elder population. You know, our population of elders, elderly folks. I feel sorry for them because, you know, um, I'm going to use probably this one. Because I had to take away the keys from her mima because she, because nobody else would. Who uh, did? Who did? Laura. She had to take away her her keys. Aww. She created her own drive through when she went when she was parking at the KFC. I said, "That's it. Enough." <laughs> it about killed her to do it, but yeah. Oh, you know, some of our elders are very independent extremely independent and you tell them no you can't when you know all these years they have been doing it a specific way sorry i'm pulling out doilies of what i'm going to be using um it's kind of hard it's not a, it's not an easy thing to swallow it's not it's not an easy thing to swallow let me tell you i'm glad that dad doesn't drive anymore See, for the young generation you know he was under my insurance and I took away his insurance. I did, I didn't let him register the car. I didn't even let him renew his license. Well, that's good because your dad has dementia. Yeah. But yeah. And, and when it started, he just like wanted to keep going and I'm said, nope. So now I'm the chauffeur. Well, you know, Eric's the grandpa. It was a poop piece. Eric's grandpa, he drove, he died at 90, I think he was 91, and he drove every single day mm -hmm. for well, 90 some people, some people can, some people can. They be, they're blessed to still have all their faculties and react well. Yeah. But, you know, not like you said, not everyone is, is capable of doing that. It's not it's not something that all of them are allowed that all of them can do and when they can't then you have to step in and make that a dot decision that they don't want you to make for them because all these years they've done it for themselves look, look at what karen says she says my problem is my mom still drives like she did when she was 20. <laughs> great driver she drives to my daughter's house 80 miles away wow wow Wait, what, 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 um, okay, so your mom is what nationality, Karen? She sounds like uh, a Latina. Is she Latina? Yeah, it's, it's her mother, so, and she's a Montoya, so. Well, can Montoya could be from her husband. True. No, we're not buffering here. She's of German descent. Ah, she's got spite and she's got that little spicy, um, not spicy, uh, what do you call it? She's uh, a tough cookie. Yeah. It's like Eric's grandpa. He was, he's Irish descendant and he was, yeah, you weren't taking those car keys for him. He don't care. He didn't care how bad he was trying. Mm -hmm. He didn't care. You weren't taking his car away. Karen says her husband is Mexican from Chihuahua, Mexico. Ah. Oh, she's a redhead too. She's feisty. Ah. <laughs> I kind of figured. I was like, hmm. look how pretty that is. Just like that. She might not be. Um... Hold on. I'm a little bit. Stuck. Laura, try try going out all the way and coming back in, not just refreshing. Like come out of your browser and come back in. Who's having problems? Laura, she's like buffering. Oh. It's probably why they had it on 25 for 25 cents, right? What was 25 cents? My embroidery. Oh, not bad. No, but it doesn't want to lock. Hmm. It's like Wanting to walk. Glue it in. How glue it in? I can't. I can't glue it in. Okay. Got it, got it. 
This one doesn't have a screw, um, Karen. It has a screw. It did. Oh, try loosening it. I Loosen did. The screw. I did. I, I loosened it to the very max. Like it's almost off the hook. See that? Oh. It's like wow. I really had to loosen it up to get it in there. And um, but we got it. We got it going. There you go. Up a little. If it lets me, doesn't want me. The table won't even let me to tighten it up. Okay. Alrighty then. We got it though. That's all that mattered, right? That doily would make such a nice dream catcher. The doily would? That that doily that you're using right now uh -huh. would, make, would be great for a dream catcher. Like if you didn't put that uh, other white piece underneath and just started hanging laces. Oh my goodness. All right, so we got a doily and an old crochet part here. We'll use that for like tags. You can make that for little tags or I like linen um, fabrics because it frays really beautifully. Really does. Hi, Carmen. Hey, Carmen. Carmen's treasures. Hey, Carmen. How are you? She's new to the channel. She's yeah, so she is, and she was she placed an order, and she, yeah, welcome, she's welcome, welcome. You. Yes, welcome to our little crafty community of wonderful crafting friends. Karen, it's not a Misty, it's Lulu. It's Lulu, Lourdes, Nena Salvador. Nena Salvador, everything but my... <laughs> I always get her last name, Salvador, yeah. right? Salvador. Yeah. Like El Salvador. And that's yeah. where your ex-husband's from, too. Wow. How, yeah. how, how odd is that? <laughs> what are the odds of that happening, right? Yeah. All right. So we're going to save that for something. So I'm going to put it in my little scrap bucket. Make sure I got the top. I need to make sure I put an, a thing because you know me, I'm screwy. You know me. What the heck was, what is this supposed to have been? What was this? Okay, who who knows what this would have, should have been? Should have, would have, would have, could have. What the heck was this? Is that a pocket piece? No. Or, is that, or are those just a bunch of pieces pinned together? No, they're not even pinned or sewn together. But it makes a good cushion. No, it's, it, it's nice, but I think you're supposed to separate them. Those are just... They're, not, are, they're not separated, honey. You're not understanding. It's, that's what I'm saying. You're suppo Maybe you're supposed... Oh, they're sewn all the way. Yeah. Hmm. Look, look, that's what I'm saying. What is it? What is it supposed to be? <laughs> Ah, uh, maybe like a like a hot pad, uh, a bread pad holder, you know, to keep the bread little bread rolls warm. Huh? Really? I I'm guessing. No, but see, they're going a different angle. Like there's one here, one here. I would have thought like a little skirt and put a hole there, and then, but I don't know. But it makes a cute little. Yeah, it's cute. It looks uh, like a little, yeah. like you're opening up a little flower. Yeah. Hi, Clint. Hey, Clint. A, yeah. Tori says it's a bun holder. That's what I thought too. But it was a bun holder. Yeah. My gosh, fancy little bun holder, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Janet. Hi, hola, Janet. I gotta get the coffee fix. I am probably gonna put a little bit implement of paper here. With a spark of. Splash of color, maybe. I want too much color. I'm good. I'm good art. What? Awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing to each other. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome beans. 23 in the house. Let's show the hostess some love. Click on that thumbs up. Share. Share if you care. 
Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell everybody. Thank you, Janet. Look, all she did was just throw some stuff on the table. Look how pretty that looks already. She hasn't even glued anything down yet. No, I don't glue until I figure out. We don't glue yet. She looks kind of. I like her, but her little. I have to cover up her little pink flowers there. Denise, somebody gave me a thumbs down in your TP video. Oh. No, um, Debbie just told me someone gave her a thumbs down on her giveaway video. What the heck is wrong with people? Come on now. You don't like a person. Move on. Just move on. Oh, Get yeah. out. Get out. I mean, what what is wrong with people? They don't have a life. They don't have a life. That's it. They don't have a life. Don't watch our channel. Who told you? Who told you how to come and watch us? Right? Mm -hmm. Who told you? someone say you have to go watch her no pretty sure no one said okay we have gonna find another color i like that one but she's got some um i like her but the pink in her and i didn't print out any other images like what's wrong with people come on now laura's asking like a a, a poll question she says ladies i'm curious if you had just one thing you could craft for one whole year, what would it be? What would it be if I had one thing I can craft? Just, just that's all we would make for a whole year. Yeah, like all, all hoops, you know, all embroidery hoop projects, like, like that for a year. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Tori says greeting cards. Karen said I'd paint. Mm, okay. Yeah. Denise says greeting cards. Greeting cards. That's an easy one. Yeah, that's an easy one. You got to do it for a whole year. I would say doing layouts. You oh ooh! I knew I didn't like you for a reason. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got to do my layouts. I got. I got so many freaking pictures. I don't like uh, Laura says easy. I've never made a card in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You've never made a card in your life. We're going to have to get you to make a card. <laughs> layouts. See, I can't do layouts. Family layouts. The, the scrapbook layouts. I, I guess. Okay. What do you guys think? I do like her. The problem is, is that I want to use this here. See that? But it's, it's kind of this one's pinky unless i take the copic and i don't want to do that or not the copic spectrums and kind of change out the color and i don't want to do that um but she is a sweet sweet girl she is, she is a sweet one what's the other option this one the mom and the baby Well, if you don't want to color, whatever. But I like the pink. The pink looks cute. It's just the other one is kind of peachy, so I might have to change because I like that. Oh. that girl. I like that girl. I don't know why. I like that girl. <laughs> I just do. I think she's so cute with that hat. Yeah. So we can probably just work around the, the – let me see what colors. Let me change. Maybe I can just color her out. Let's change her colors. Maybe we can just color that a little bit. Um, Laura says, May, do you have a pink pad? Just lightly ink the peachy paper to make it match. Um, well, I was going to probably, because I like the little peachy. Mm, maybe I can, hold on. I like the peachy color takes me back to a childhood moment but 
What the hell? It's so cold over here all of a sudden. Like somebody left the door open. Let me check. Got that one. I'm, I'm gonna probably cut out. We're gonna do a little bit of paper crafting here, guys. It's cold where you are. Yeah, all of a sudden it got like chilly. Ooh. Jean says she would craft Christmas stuff, I guess. She okay. says I would craft Christmas. Oh, I can do that. I love Christmas. I can see myself doing that. I could. I could I could definitely see Christmas. Jana, who she Isabella is working already on a uh, design team hoop. Design team hoop for a couple of days now. Man, ooh, can't wait to see it. A design team boot hoop hoop. She's doing one. Oh. oh. If, Denise, if it's a ghost blowing through, it better blow away past me. I'm not having it. Okay, these are the 49 and Market um, paper collection that I got not long ago from. Um... Ooh, I can't wait to see it, Jen. Uh, Rusty Crown. And so we're going to do a little bit of a layering thing here going on. Mm -hmm. It'll have a little bit of lace, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. How's that? Very good. Laura loves it. She says, ooh, love that me. This is wax paper. Yes, Janet, I think it's going to be fabulous also. So then we don't have to watercolor nothing. Karen says that's perfect. All right. Okay. Let's grunge it up. Let the grunging begin. We're going to sew it, too. Janice says, love, love, love it, May. Gracias, gracias. Actually, you know what I want to do? I don't know where that came from, but it's I liked it. I saw it on my desk, so I'm gonna probably take some of that Tim Holtz rusting and spray it and make it look more rustier. This cheapest distressing tool ever, your scissors. <laughs> the cheapest distressing tool ever. May, I still have the Tussie Musty I made from your kit. You saw me. Oh, my God. You have to take pictures of that, Miss um, Karen. I'm about to put out another kit. It's going to be a dress form. Um, and I'm 
thinking of a cut I'm, I'm thinking of something special for that one and I can't really get into a lot of details because I'm still in a search of the perfect paper but I've envisioned it in my head already of what I want to do with it and it's gonna I in my head it looks awesome that makes sense I use my scissors because I can never find my I don't even I don't I don't even have my distress tool because I when I got rid of everything, I got rid of that too. So I don't even have my oldest. I used to have a Prima distress tool and a Tim Holtz distress tool. I don't even have that anymore. So I just use these. And I've always used the back of my scissors. Even when I had fancy little tools, I've always used the back of my scissors. So I, that or the end of my desk, the edge of my desk. Hi, Rajul. Hello, Miss Rajul. Are you staying safe? I know there's cases in Austin. There's a doctor here that came positive for um, coronavirus. And they're talking about canceling school, which is great for me. I don't have to get up in the morning. You know, I love, I, I mean, I love getting up with my kids, but, you know. This is just wax paper that I coffee dyed. More burnt effect there. This, I don't know where this came from. I have a new clue. I think it may have come from something I pulled out yesterday had this. I don't know where this came from. I don't know what it was. Sorry, I slipped away. Everything is canceled in Louisiana, even church. I know, everyone's, everything, everything is closing. Denise went to go grab some fudge. Bring some back for us. Oh, Rajul said, yes, I was going to India for my engagement and it's all canceled. Oh, no. All right, we're gonna use that hand spray. Did you hear that? Yeah, she's going to. She her her son's engagement was canceled. Oh. I know things are just really, really. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just like horrible. It's not a standstill. It's like the world stopped spinning. Yeah, it's like I don't know. This is vellum, so that's why it's curling. Visas, the visa canceled. What? Hi, Allison. They canceled all the visas. They're not processing visas. Wow. Well, he's not letting anyone travel out of the country. Hi, Allison. Guys, don't forget to smack the thumbs. And you guys see the stock market, it is like lost over, yeah. uh, I forgot how many points, over 200 points, 300, almost 300 points, yeah, or something like that, 3,000 points, whatever it is. Yeah, the stock market is bad right now. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to give families, I think they were trying to pass something to give families, but what I was saying is they're trying to see um, if they would give families um, like a stipend or something of a thousand dollars. That would be nice. Um, because a lot of a lot of people can't afford 
you can't afford to, you know. Ellen says, I can't go anywhere, so I'm looking for crafting lives. That's yeah, cool. that's that's us. We're we're yeah. crafting because you know we gotta keep everybody. Oh, Rajul lost six thousand dollars on, on the flights. What I what? Oh girl, I'd be I'd be mad, I'd be livid, I'd be like no, that, they'll no refund. She says no, I was just gonna say get a refund. They'll, they have to give you a refund. This is a national emergency. Yeah, this is not happening. This is clearly not your fault. It's not like you intended to. Um, Rajul, you didn't have any flight insurance? People, a lot of people don't know about that. That flight insurance is a bogus thing. I've taken out flight insurance, I've had to cancel, um, and they do not refund you. They won't. You have to have a doctor's medical excuse. And even with that, because we provided one, even then, they will not refund you. You got to fight that, Rajul. Don't let them keep your 6K. Hold on, guys. Alan says, I would be laying on the conveyor belt until they gave me my money back. Yep. They're not answering the, the airports are closed. That's why they're not okay. answering the phone. Take your messages. Okay. Yeah, that's why they're not um the airports are closed, so okay. People are like they're probably okay, got it. Oh, the travel agency? Yeah, they're gonna run because they're gonna lose their business. Yeah. Now that they, they can't they can't book anybody any flights. So they're staying home. Yep. You you go back to them soon. They're sorry, buds. Heck yeah, that's what I would be doing. Because mm -hmm. you know, six K, that's not jump change. Heck no. That's a couple of mortgage payments. Yeah, it is. Doesn't matter if it's a cheapo airline. No, it this, was, this is a national emergency, and there's proof. It's all over the freaking news. It's been declared by the president. Yeah, you can get your money back. They have to. If you, all you got to do is make a lot of noise. The travel agency and the airlines don't want any bad uh bad PR. Depends on what travel agency it is too and what and what airline. Some airlines are shady like that. If it's Delta, they don't do that. Delta's really yeah, shady. They, they're not not now. They're not gonna want to look like the bad guys, like the heartless people that took well, look what they did no, no, because look what they did when Hurricane Maria came. They increased the prices on airfares to make it difficult for some of us to go see family. Mm-hmm. I mean, the plane ticket that I had to take when I went, it was it was pretty pricey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, if the media hears about it, maybe she can get her money back. Yeah, make some noise, Rajul. Make some noise. I like saying her name, Rajul. I love saying it. Yeah, report them to the look to the local news, especially the travel agency. They will not like that because they need to have their income also. Yep. Yep. They don't they don't want to be called out as, you know. Well, some do like I know that Delta was horrible for the Hurricane Maria. They they increased their tickets to a thousand something. That's I'm in crazy. 2017, making it hard for some of us to go visit our families or, or people to leave the island. But wrong, wrong, wrong. You know, those people are going to pay big time. Yeah, yeah. Karma is a it's a is a reminder of um, 
of life and the things that you do. You know, when you do bad, guess what? Mm -hmm. Eventually, you reap what you sow. Absolutely. It will catch you when you least expect it. When you least expect it, it will catch you. Okay. You know, uh, Allison is asking where you get your vintage fo vintage photos. Do you print them from the computer or buy them? I buy them on Etsy. There's like um, lots of ladies on Etsy, but uh, Victoria Designs, um, Ira La Mira. Oh God, I buy from a lot of ladies. Kristen oh, Art, God. Kristen Art. Um, these I got them from. I have to look at Etsy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, images anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. I this one I these I got them from whether well, Victoria Designs. These I got them from Tree of Life event um, on Etsy. And there were five ninety eight. Wasn't cheap. But when I like something, I typically I don't mind because it's supporting another artist. So I don't. That's right, Laura. Karma comes back around and bites you in the butt. Exactly. Exactly. It sure does. Okay, so we're going with that. And then I kind of like the vintage theme. And then I have some metals and some other things that we're going to put on here because I pulled out some metal. Um, oh, and I got this. Hold on. And this is from Scrap and Eat. And I thought we would use. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's a pretty little frame. But let's see. So delicate. So delicate. Alan says, Allison says, your hoop looks awesome. Thanks. And she's only just begun. She's only just begun. Here we go. Singing spellings of May Larson. No, we're not going to go with that one because if I use that one, I have another one that I can use. If I use that one, then I'm going to limit. Um, we have these. And I have this one. Hold on. And this is something that's available in the shop now. Uh oh, mm -hmm. she's ripping out the goodies. Oh, look at that. I like that one. We're going to go probably with that. That's going to be available. And we'll probably use that. I haven't glued down because I'm just kind of guesstimating right now. And this is not, this one's not available in the shop, but it's something that I purchased from Sheila. She's got a lot of boho stuff. Or we can go with this one. Oh, that's pretty. That one's too bad. Oh, I like that one. Laura's saying, what if you flip it and put it at the top? This? The metal piece, I think. Oh, like that? With the crown. Ooh, yeah. Could work. Yeah, that could work. We can get another one and put one in the bottom. Okay, Karen says better. She agrees with Laura. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it looks like a wall hanging within the wall hanging of the hoop. Well, I think it was about to go backwards. She says use the little lace with it too, like you were doing at the bottom. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. 
I always put pieces of stuff here and there and there and here and everywhere. Um, always go on the left with my flower. I don't know why I have a habit of doing it that way, but it's just to me, it just makes more um, visual sense. Okay, so we're going to probably paint this with some um, chalk paint. So let's glue down. I know what I'm going to do. So we're going to glue this down because I like it. And this kind of gives it a little bit of a um, padding as well. Um, there. Gives it a nice little padding. And that's the thing about, you know, shabby chic. A lot of people say, well, that's a waste of lace. Well, that's it. You, you pile. Shabby chic is about layering, you know, layering, layering, layer, and it just gives it that nice, beautiful, you know, hutch. It's about layering. The more you layer, the prettier it is, I think, in my in my opinion, my verse, my opinion. All the lusciousness, uh, lusciousness, one on top of the other. Yeah, one on top of the other. It's like a, it's like a puzzle. You know, you're trying to get to the bottom, and you're trying to see what, what else do you have in there? What's that mystery you have going on? But I wish you could have separated those little bug warmer mat thing. Yeah, there's some, um, but it gives it nice padding. This, it really kind, because of, if I didn't do something like that, it kind of sits in the bottom, and it didn't. Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be flat. It's firmer. It gives it more firmness on it so that kind of helped it helped it out a lot where's my top right here i gotta keep an eye on my top kind of helped it it really did i gotta do something about this camera i thought i had a good angle but it kind of you're centered nice i know but it kind of looks like it's i don't know it's on a weird angle <laughs> Laura says it's like lace pizza. Yeah. And now they're, they're going jinx. Somebody owes somebody a Coke. We both said <laughs> it at the same time. A Coke or a beer. <laughs> whatever. Whatever floats you both. A Coke or a beer? Who said beer? Denise? No, nobody said it. I'm saying it. You know, when you say something to somebody else. When we were kids, we used to say, you owe me a Coke, a beer, wine, whatever. I don't think I've ever said beer, <laughs> to be honest. I always say, Jinx, you owe me a soda. Yeah, I used to say soda all the time. I still say it when when I play with my kids. When my yeah, kids, say it's usually like candy. You owe me a piece of candy. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I know it doesn't, it really doesn't count with kids because, you know, they're always going to use your money. Mm -hmm. No, but it's fun because they, the little ones actually think they owe you. The look on their faces. You know what that means, right? You owe me a piece of candy. Like, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. That's like, an insult to them like what you're gonna give up my candy what what are you talking about grandma you know, it's like you you're asking them for you know a loan or something for first born. <laughs> well miguel came home early yeah he went out to, oh, there's nothing to do everything's closed walmart closes at 11. They're gonna wow. try. They're gonna, you know, clean up and your your Walmart closes early, uh, late. Are you closing? It's, at 20, it's a twenty four hour Walmart. Ours but, is twenty four hours, but it's closing at eight. Yeah, they're closing at eleven, and then they're reopening at six or seven. Our, our Walmart is because uh, they got to re the the shelves are all. We went to we have a we have 
Walmart grocery store, we have HEB, and then we have um, this little mom and pop shop downtown. They're all empty. The El Mexican grocery store, they're all empty. Miguel went and he went to get um, bagels and what else? Um, something else. And snacks and, and some other food. I, I said, you know, just get the bagels so we have. Boy, food. he's got bionic ears. He's he's a nosy chismoso. I'm telling you, it echoes here because I have nothing on my walls. I don't have furniture. So, I mean, you could breathe heavy and you'll hear it on the other side of the apartment. Now, just tell us. He's a nosy chismoso. <laughs> I want to piss him off. That's why I'm saying it loud. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, just want, calm down. I want to. I know, I know, and I want to hear him pissed off. <laughs> he, no. goes, he goes off. Oh, I like, I like that. When he goes off, okay, I'm gonna paint this. Um, I'm probably gonna use just gesso. Just so I don't have everything to. is gone. There's no meat. There's nothing. This is available in the store, and this is unplated brass, meaning it's very, very, it's not a filigree. It doesn't bend easily. Um, you have to have the right, so you can you can paint these. You can use your, um, your metallics rubs and give it a different color, a different look, so you don't have to stick with, um, the color you see here, or you can rub it into your alcohol markers or your alcohol inks actually works better. So we're just going to change that color. Mm. And I'm probably going to spray some rusty hinge. I think that rusty hinge will look really cool. Laura says she's in love with that piece. I sent you some, but I did not send you this one. You know, I sent you some medals, but I did not send you this one. She loves all that metal stuff, she says. <laughs> another coat because I want and I'm not going really I, I want some of you know how when you have old rusty metals um it kind of um has like years of paint and uh weather down I want that a little bit of a, a little bit of that here so. what the heck is he doing to the dog hold on I'll be right back Torturing the dog, or did he step on a dog by accident? No, the dog. He just yelled back at me and said that the dog bit himself. He must have been scratching himself and hurt himself. Oh my god! Huh? Laura says I. Laura says I didn't think about gessoing and painting. I'm going to try that with the ones I have, but use the art alchemy waxes on them. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. I've done it with the um. Prima waxes. I've done it with the um, Deco Art waxes. I've done it with the Viva Decor waxes and the Gilder Pace wax. They're all great for this. I don't know. I haven't seen Aristia. Aristia, are you still here with us? I saw her before. It's like maybe two in the morning over there, I think. It's eight hour difference. Maybe she went to bed. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. It's like it's like two in the morning probably over there. Again, I'm trying to get a really nice uh, textured look on it because I want it to look a little bit more weathered. Do it. Laura says it's like she never sleeps. Neither do I. 
Who, Laura doesn't sleep or Risty? Risty. I don't think you sleep because you're you're running on coffee like. I take naps. Yesterday I lost all track of time. I said I'm gonna lie down a little bit just before the May goes on again. And it, I woke up and the day, the rest of the day was gone. I didn't know what day it was. I was like, what the hell? Hi, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Wait till you see what May's making. Rose is asking, is that a thick gesso? It is thick, yes, and I got it from, um, right now it's 50% off at Hobby Lobby, so I bought it from uh, for five bucks at Hobby Lobby because it's that Master's Touch brand. Ooh. And it works just as great as the Prima stuff. It really does. Just cheaper. A lot cheaper. No, I'm not keeping it white, but I can keep it white. If I chose to keep it white, you can have it like that, and it can go with all the other. Wow. I'm thinking of more of a patina color on it. Um, look at that, Gloria. Look, look. Look at that gorgeousness. I love the two little lace pieces hanging down. I love guindalejos. Me gusta los guindalejos. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We have the rust hinge. Uh oh, Rose getting attacked by the mosquitoes. She feels it terrible tonight. Mosquitoes already. Mm -hmm. What? Patricia says, so, so awesome. I get excited to see the finished product. Yeah. I'm going to get in. And I did go to Hobby Lobby today, and I found something that I'm hoping it's almost like that waxing that my boyfriend uses. You know, Antonis, Antonis, Anadakis. No, I'm not. I'm not giving up on him. He has a girlfriend, but that's all right. She don't need to know. <laughs> I saw the box. I watched the video. You could put the journal in there. It's so awesome. It's like a set. Look and look and all the um with all the um gesso, it kind of has it kind of has a little bit of a crackle look on there. I like that. I wasn't really intentionally going for that, but you know, I like it. Craft happens. What? Craft happens. That's what that is. Yeah. We're going to go with a little bit of this. Um, I don't want blue. We want like a kind of greenish. Let's see how this one goes. This is from. Vampiria. Why isn't that working? Alrighty then. I guess we're not using this stamp. Yeah, I've never used it before. Kind of. It's clogged up already. Never used it. I'll be down. Let's go for Tim. I guess Tim didn't want me to cheat on him today. Hmm. Tim says, "Do not put the coils on me." <laughs> no buenos, woman, no buenos. Que no me digan en la esquina, en vena, en vena. Alright, we're going to try a couple colors because I want to experiment with a couple colors. I'm going to try something here. Give me a second. I'm going to go get that green. Que no me digan en la esquina. El venado, el venado, el venado. Eso a mí me mortifica. El venado. 
Ladies, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We got 21 in the house. Let's get to 21 on the thumbs up. Share the love. Ooh, look at that. That's a pretty color. It is. I, I want like a patina rusty look, so that's what the color I'm trying to go for. What, what house are you guys talking about? I was watching the house she did in one of her videos. I have one of those houses. Houses? Me? House? I, I no, no. Somebody else. They're talking about this. I have, I've always loved her. She is great. Who are you talking about? I'm going to try. Time is unnecessary. Tammy, right? Tammy, yes. Hi, Miss Tammy. See, I didn't even have my, my cheat sheet up. <laughs> I'm getting better. That's going to look really nice with the color that comes off of the picture. I'm going to go back with the rusty hinge. She said hello. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It looks really cool from here. You guys can't see it. I might have to get more of that rusty stuff. But that's starting to be one of my favorite colors. Quartz from TJX. Who's TJX? I'm lost. What about TJX? I like, he says, I like the horse from TJX. You want to kind of heat it up to bake it in there. Use the um, hickory smoke from Tim Holtz. Get more dark in there. Try that mahogany. And the, the mahogany and the terracotta. The mahogany gave a nice little rusty look without me really putting that sandy, rusty stuff. So you can use any mahogany and it gives it a nice, rusty look. I'm just going to go right in there with the same brush. I, I know what. I know what caballo is, but I don't know what you're talking about, though. What are we talking about? I don't. Um, they were talking about a, a house, that, a horse that was done, but I don't. I don't know what. Oh, horse. my horse! Oh, your horse! Oh, your horse! Yeah. I my... didn't know who the, whose whose craft they were talking about. I don't know. I didn't know it was you that they were talking about. 
Yeah, I had a horse. Remember the horse I did in um, 2016? I don't think we were friends there, were we? I think we became friends in the beginning of 2017. 2017. Yeah. I'm trying to, because uh, I thought they were just, she was talking about a project that she saw recently that somebody did. I didn't know she was talking about yours. No, she's talking about just a little bit of this terracotta stuff. We just want a little bit. This it says that color is so pretty. Just kind of bring out some of a rusty, kind of a rusty feel without really having that sandy feel to it. You know, when you use a rust effect, it's a little bit rusty. Um, it, from Prima, it's really sandy and gritty, and it releases a lot of. And it's cool. I love it. I've used it a lot. I'm not going to complain about it, but it has a lot of gritty stuff. So if you don't want your gritty stuff, especially on fabric. You know, right. mimic the rest. Or if you don't want to take the time to put it out in the rain, I mean, not rain, out in the sun with some um, vinegar, sea salt, or salt, and hydrogen peroxide, that oxidizes the metal and makes it rusty. You can just play around with different paints and give it a nice little rusty feel. Yeah, I got you now, Gloria. I got you. TJ TJ Maxx got you. Home Goods Marshalls got it. Yeah, I got the horse from there. Yes. She's she's watching my videos. Yeah. She's a washing. I love it when I hear you guys say you I know this is unnecessary. She's like she'll mention something that something she's watched from my video and i'm like wow you really watch my videos <laughs> i had to take this map back i had given it to nani um when i start i stopped crafting that's why it's so dirty um it's it's been around for this mat, this particular mat has been around for several years, probably I would say about five or six years. And then the one underneath was from Ken Oliver's and I had gotten that at my rubber buggy in 2017 when I designed for them. So I don't He is asking, is that how you rust paper clips, May? You can, yes, you can. I oxidize my paper clips with um, hydrogen peroxide I mix, um, I mix vinegar, half portion of vinegar, half portion of hydrogen peroxide, and I put about a half a cup of salt, and then I pour that onto with my paper clips or butt, um, paper clips, um, safety pins, screws. I have a whole bunch of them, and even my little bells, and then I put it out in the sun to oxidize. Tori says, May, I watched the video of your oh boy of your boyfriend today. He's on his second marriage, has two children, five and a half and eight and a half. He is on tour in the United States and has a cruise plan. Uh-oh. On his second marriage? Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I don't know. I still like him. <laughs> I still like him. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, um. She don't want to marry him. She just wants to play with his craft stuff. <laughs> Gloria says she loves your videos. Very, insp very inspirational. Thank you. I don't, I, I was just going to say the same thing, Laura. She got the beats on him like right quick. You have to break in and look up there. Un grandissimo. Big cut, that big talk up. Is no. a party? Oh, I don't think the world needs to know that. <laughs> I don't need no party. <laughs> no, her. No, that's not what she said. All right, oh, here it is. Big cup. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the one with the skull that you and I got one like. You got it. The um. Oh, yeah, little um, the, There you go. See and. That's right, Denise. She wants to play with his hot glue gun. <laughs> <laughs> Denise. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know, Tori, is if you found out what his shoe size was, because that's very important, because you know what they say about men's shoe size. I don't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know that. Oh, gross. 
Corey says this whole granny gets on it. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was working for me. Thank you, Miss Corey. I appreciate yep. you doing this research for me. <laughs> yep. There you go. Oh God, you guys are hilarious. Where's my top? I even lost the top. There it is. We put we were about to put this on backwards. Brewster says, I thought it was a hand size. No, it's a shoe size. Look at her feet. <laughs> she says she didn't get that far to get that information. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe you guys. Oh, my guy is a 14. Oh my God. What? You got a beat. You got a horse. <laughs> oh my God. You got a horse. You might want to check them. You might need some veterinary assistance there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamie says, that's so pretty, May. Thank you. Tori says, no problem. I have to keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You guys are hilarious. I love it. I love it. Oh, look at that trim. Oh, look at that. Just enough bling bling. Denise says, I love it that he is so tall. He can reach for anything for me. <laughs> oh my God. Laura, Laura says, shoe size does not always indicate size elsewhere. Trust me, you've been disappointed, haven't you? Yeah. Laura, have you been disappointed? I don't know because my dad, that's the first thing he would look for my brothers. There's something about the, the Rodriguez traits. When my mom said that when my brothers were born, the first thing my dad had to check. I don't know, you know, why he had to check. I guess it's just to verify whether or not there were some Rodriguez traits. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he was trying to say my mom could have possibly cheated, but I don't, that's not the case. It was just, I, it was checking the Rodriguez traits. And um, I guess, I guess they're very well, from what I've heard from many, many years, very, very well in, you know, in that department, endowed, I guess, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. You're very blessed in that department. Again, I don't want to know. That's a need to know basis. As I told my mother, that was a need to know basis. I did not need to know. Did not need to know. I am probably going to use this one here. No, no, no. Waste of it. Waste of a trim. That would be a waste up there, too. Let's see this one. Hold on, guys. Adding a little... Checking my mm. Why did we go silence? No, nope, too big. Too big. We're gonna probably go solo here without any trim. Is that one trim? It's pretty, but I think it kind of. Are you there? Oh, we lost Lundin. I'm sitting here talking and, and she's not even here. <laughs> I laugh funny, guys. I even laugh at myself for laughing. Size 14 ring. He's big. He's a big guy. I would hate to. I would have to say he's. My husband has a small hands. My hands are bigger than my husband's hands. I have man hands. I got the Rodriguez. The Rodriguez. Look at that. They look like. Well, they're swollen today. We lost you. Over here, they reset me. Oh, okay. 
I was like sitting here talking and talking and talking and you were like vanished. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with something like that. Um, now I gotta catch up. Let's see where, how far do we go here? And I might just trim this one off here. Let's trim that off. Ooh, Laura, I'm catching up. <laughs> What'd she say? What'd she say? Laura is naughty. She says she doesn't want. She doesn't like big schlongs. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Long skinny fingers, short fat fingers. You know the deal. <laughs> <laughs> You ladies are a hoot, you know that? What will we do on a day without you guys? I don't know. What do we do with a day without you guys? Okay, Denise says you don't have man hands, man. I do. Look how well they're swollen today. They're very swollen today. Gloria says, what did she say? That he, that he is an Italian stallion. He's an Italian stallion. Oh, boy. I, I like that. So I'm going to start gluing this down because I like the, so far that little concept. So let's glue. Uh, we're going to use, let's see. I have a problem with Fabri-Tac and fabric. It doesn't do so well. So we're just going to go. Wow, your first boyfriend was six foot six inches tall. Who was? Laura's first boyfriend was six foot six, and she was five ten. She was almost five ten. Laura, you're pretty tall. Yeah. Denise says tall men are amazing. Mine is six foot five, and I'm only five one. Ooh. Holy smoke! Do you need a chair? Do you need a chair, um, Denise? Rose is loving that trim. Thank you. Thank oh, my God, Laura. His nickname was Meat, and he scared the hell out of me. I wouldn't go anywhere near that thing, so he broke up with me after prom. Oh, my God. You didn't get any meat that night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> No tenderizing of the meat that night. Denise says we make it work. <laughs> My cousin was is five foot ten, and her first husband was, I think he, he was really tall. He was like seven. I think he was seven something, and he literally had to bend to go through doorways. Your sister's first boyfriend? No, my cousin's first husband. Oh, oh, yeah. He was really, he had to have his clothes and shoes like specially ordered and made. And when she brought him home, because she was living with us at the time, and she brought him for, for us to meet. And this giant came, came through the door, bent, because he didn't fit through the door. He was taller than the door. And it was a tall door. My sister's hubby is seven foot two, and she's five foot six. Wow. My sister's seven. Wow. Seven. Oh my God. His feet hang off the, the, the bed. Yeah, me too, Rose. Five two. I should be at five two again. I was at five two and a half or three quarters. But I'm shrinking. I'll be right back. Hold on, ladies. I was pushing five four, but I think I've I've shrunk a little because for some reason, um, I don't know doesn't look like I'm that size anymore. It's like, what the heck happened here? Who shrunk me? Somebody, honey, somebody shrunk the mommy.
Denise, you got a tall honey. Your honey is tall. It says his feet hang off the bed, and we have a king size bed, she said. Wow. Oh my God, Laura. She says, I shrunk depending on which leg I stand. <laughs> I love her sense of sense of humor. Yeah. You know, there is her sense of humor is so contagious. It's like she doesn't see anything. I mean, it's just, she's got a wonderful sense of humor. I love it. She doesn't look at um, her her disabilities in a negative way. She looks at it as a positive way. Yeah, you have to. How old were you, Laura, when you lost your leg? If you don't mind me asking. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Patricia says, I've been, I was six foot until a couple of years ago I started shrinking. I'm now five, ten and a half. Wow. Wow, Miss Patricia. I would have not guessed that when I've, I've talked to Miss Patricia, um, you know, on the phone and stuff like that. I would have not guessed that, Miss Patricia. She says, I lost all those inches and now I'm fat. <laughs> oh, my God. You are too funny, Patricia. It, 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 well, it, went, it went somewhere else. It went south, right? Mm -hmm. It didn't go north. It went south. Mm -hmm. Well, as you shrink, you go down. So everything went down. Yeah. Definitely. Girl, I was 41. It took me three years to say the word. I was 41. She was 41. It took her three years to say the word disabled or handicapped. Yeah. 41? Yeah. Oh, my God. I was, oh, my God. I was pretty young. Patricia says it went from her butt to her gut. <laughs> to her butt. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we look at the positive of it. Of it. Of it. Is it? <laughs> you know, the positive side of it. Yeah. We look at the positive side of stuff. And um, that's it. That looks like a little leafy trim. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. And I love the little blingy. Oh. Okay, let's see. We got more trims. <laughs> Are the best, yes, Denise. What's that? She says positive people are the best. I say yes, we need more of that. In this yes, life. we do. We don't need all the negative um, mm -hmm. doers. <gasps> Morgan Vallejos, I. We don't need the, the negative Debbie doers. That is for sure. Debbie Downers. <laughs> Debbie Downers, yes. You say potato, I say papa. Uh huh. That's how it is in, in 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 this in this in this crafty world here in May's crafty world. You say one way, I say the other. That's true, Laura. She says, "Got to be positive. Negative Nellies are no fun." No, they're not, and they bring you down, and they make you feel like you're not capable of doing anything. You know. So we're just gonna tuck this underneath here, and again, this is a trim. Um, it's in the beautification process, so we still have to iron it and then put it in the store. It, it was in the, we go through a beautification process here. So once a trim comes in, we try to beautify it, iron it. Um, they still call Patricia the Amazon woman. The Amazon. <laughs> she says the rest of her sisters are five, six to five, eight. Oh boy. And she's the tallest one then in her family. Are you youngest as well? Because I notice when uh, in families, like my sister's taller than me. She's younger. I know a lot of people who the, where the oldest is shorter than the younger. Patricia says, no, Laura says, Patricia, my sister is my height, and our poor brother in the middle is the middle child, and he's 5'7". He swears that God has the what? The biggest sense of humor. His brother, her brother has what? How? Her, Laura and her sister are, are, are tall, and then their brother is 5'7". 
And he says that God must uh, has the biggest sense of humor because he's shorter than them. <laughs> he's probably saying, what the heck? What the heck? Mm -hmm. The heck, God, why are you doing this to me? Why are my sisters taller than me? Mm -hmm. I'd be asking that same question myself. Oh, look at that. They're all in the store. Every single one are in the store. Now they come. You see that? We asked for coffee 20 million years ago. Mm. It took a long time for coffee, Mommy. Oh, look at the sequins on that. Oh, my gosh. That's probably going to be the last resort. Where's my coffee? <laughs> Nani, she she has to keep crafting. Get her her coffee. A girl is over here slaving, working, trying to push, uh, trying to push the, the 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 laces and the appliques to to make a living for her family. And what do they do? They can't even bring me coffee, guys. <laughs> I remember Lord, earlier. Lord, stunning. Within the last couple of hours, you said they didn't like me anymore. <laughs> Hi. He was giving me the lip, guys. I Taste had I, I, I had to shut it Taste down. It. Taste, Taste it. it in the carrots. We had we we had to get rid of the Keurig. The Keurig kind of died on me. <laughs> it's old school. Yeah, it's good. Yes, yeah, so it would. Uh, it would, Tammy. She okay. says it would look so pretty hung over the a headboard of a girl's bed. Yeah, like a giant medallion. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this one is going to be, a, again, this is one of those that's in a purification stage because um, it needs to be now ironed. And so, but I like the, I like the rusty, netty kind of feel to it. Um, Debbie says I would have to buy another Keurig. <laughs> you would? Yeah. Well, you know, we've replaced it and it's just it's just not I I don't know what it is. Maybe I drink just too much coffee. I burnt it too much. I don't know. I blamed it. I blame it on um I blame it on the Keurig. I'm not blaming it on my coffee habit. You know? I'm just not. It's just not happening. I'm not blaming it on myself. I think I think the Keurig broke it. Tammy says the laces you are placing now are her favorites. Oh, thank you. Laura says yes, may yes. And Tammy says we use a percolator. A percolator. Yeah. I use the. Oh, I just got. We had um, when we first moved here. We got a Keurig. We got the regular one, the regular coffee maker, right? And then we had, of course, the Puerto Rico style um, colador. Mm -hmm. um, in the in the event of emergencies, we have a colador. Colador is a t traditional way of us brewing our coffee. Well, in most in most houses in Puerto Rico, that's how they brew it. They don't they don't yeah. use coffee makers. Like in our house, we never had a coffee maker. My mom always had it with a colador. Yep. But um. Rose says the only reason she uses her curry is to make hot chocolate. Oh, uh, you don't drink coffee? You're not a coffee drinker, Rose? Denise says, I love my curry, but really there is no better tasting coffee to me than a percolator coffee. Yeah, the percolators, um, it tastes a little bit. Like sometimes the, the Keurig, I have to say, has a weird taste to it. Um, like I've told Eric, it tastes like a little bit chemically. Like I've had, I've had moments where I'm like wondering, am I should I be drinking this? You know. Oh, look at that one! I love it. Um, thinking Eddie Murphy, Hercules, Hercules, Guindalejo, Guindalejo.
My her calculator was a wedding gift, still works great almost 30 years later. Wow, yep, those things don't go nowhere. 30 years? Mm -hmm. You've for 30 years? Yep. What the heck? When you take care of your things, they last for, and they don't make things like they used to back in the day. No, I would just say, no, I, well, you know, back then, they did not, they made everything to last a lifetime. What they make now is made to break in, in like, my, our, for instance, our Keurig, we've replaced that thing twice already. We've, we've descaled it. Um, we didn't get the cheap one. We got the hundred that's some dollar one. So this is our second, our second Keurig. And Eric had just descaled it. And I just said, you know what? Get rid of that thing. The pot, coffee pot, regular coffee pot. If yeah. it breaks, it's just $10. That's it. Yes, everything is built to be disposable. Yes, it is. Because they want you to buy more. Yeah, and that's what she says. So you keep buying it. Yep. Yeah. So you can replace just like computers are not meant to last more than two years. Mm -hmm. um, their 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 lifespan is very very minimal. Mm -hmm. So they do that on purpose. So I think we're just probably going to end up removing that one there. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. See, I could see myself weaving little rib pretty little colored ribbons in there, pastel ribbons in those little holes. Denise says, I've had my curd for four years. Once in a while, it leaks water out, but then it quits and works great. Mm. See, and the problem I'm having is that um, it does not want to drip, and we descaled it. Um, we have descaled it. We've done everything, you know, as far as maintenance wise, we've changed everything in there, but it's just one of those things that I think it doesn't like me or it's telling me your woman, you drink too much coffee for me. That one's too small. Although I like it and I could probably get away with Ooh, look at that, look at that. Um, I'm trying to figure something out, guys. Oh yeah, I like that look. All right, we're gonna we're gonna gather some of this up. And this is again, this is one that it is gonna be in the store. It's just in the in the purification, purification, putification process. Okay, Denise is asking, did you use bottled water with the Keurig, May? No, I did not. I use it. We have a fil filtering thingy in our in our um, the kitchen. Stain. We have the heart. We have not. We have soft water, and then we have a little section of our sink that is filled. Uh, what do you call it? Filtered or something like that? Yeah, the little filter thing. Yeah. So we use. I use that for the water. Um, but I think I think this this one here, I think what it was um, what I think happened to this one is that um, I want to blame it on Walmart. I'm not gonna blame it on myself because it'd be it'd be it'd be me saying that, you know, I did it and I can't do that. They're doing too much coffee. So this one, Eric, Eric, Eric has descaled it um, because it didn't want to drip. And I don't know if maybe in the process of doing that, something in it might have broken. I don't know. So we just went, we reverted back to old ways. Doesn't matter. As long as I have my coffee, I don't care how it is. Did you bottle use bottle? Um, as long as we, if I have my coffee, 
I'm not going to get any more of those. And, you know, the only reason I did it that way was because um, I will drink a cup of coffee, no one else. Now, Carla started drinking coffee since she's been going to school to, you know, help her um, stay focused because coffee does keep me focused. But um, I think what I'm not liking, I might have to remove that gold one. I think that gold one is kind of throwing me off. So we're just probably going to get rid of it. Hmm. But yeah. It's probably my mom saying, girl, you need to get that colador and you need to do it that way. It ain't happy. Colador is like a little... It's a cloth, uh, cloth strainer. Yeah, it's a cloth strainer. And um, and so Tammy says a cup of coffee in her house is is uh, not safe. I don't care what time of day it is. It's not <laughs> same safe. here. Same here. What do you mean it's not safe? They drink a lot of coffee. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Well, see, I, I, I don't. I've never gotten the the um, habit of making more than one cup because I don't like to drink old coffee. I have to have fresh coffee. So that's why getting the Keurig made more sense to me. Um, because I don't like old coffee. I can't stand old coffee. Um, these will be in the store, but just not right now. Not right now, so you have to just bear with me as we get them in. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Let me go. I should have put that thing. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Oh, you have to trim. So let's trim some of this off because I can use all these little appliques for something else. Denise says, coffee has never helped me meet with my ADHD. I still lose it. Usually find it in the microwave. Just can't sit still. Oh, you're hyper. Yeah. See, I have I have attention deficit. Um, Patricia is singing lace, lace, beautiful lace. <laughs> I have attention deficit. So my attention deficit, um, the coffee helps with the, you know, trying to stay focused. Um, and it helps my daughter because she's got the same issue. Karen is uh, uh, recommending try the dual Hamilton, Hamilton Beach. We went through two Keurigs in two years. The Hamilton we've had for three years and uses any pods from any brand. Oh, cool. I will have to try that. See, I, it wasn't just me. I think it's just not made to last. Yeah. It's a German brand, I believe. The Keurig is German, I believe. So I think it's just, I think it's. <laughs> Laura says, that's me. May I have the attention span of a gnat? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't. If, and if someone um, talks to me while I'm trying to read, oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Don't I can't be talked to. I can, No, you can't talk to me when I'm reading something. I will screw it up. I can't focus. If, if I'm trying to read something, it's what I tell. I come upstairs when I'm doing my schoolwork because I have, I'm not like Eric. Eric's, Eric's very, very smart. Um, so I took that one and I flipped it. 
And I'm thinking that maybe here that way. Uh, um, Eric is Eric is extremely intelligent, like very, very, very intelligent. And he gets that intelligence from his family. Um, and he doesn't have to read something like I do. Like I have to read it a couple times so that it stays in my head and yep. it makes some type of common, it, it makes some kind of sense, you know? Whereas he, he'll, he, all I have to do is scan it through his little brain process. And I don't know what the heck they have in that, their the Larson brain, because Brianna, Brianna's the same way. She can pick up stuff really quick. Yeah, um, that's good deal. But I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm not at all. And oh, pizza's ready. Okay, so we're gonna glue this one down before I forget. So I cut this one down. This one's gonna be in the store. We're just going through a beautification process. Um, but I'm not, I can't be, I can't be disturbed when I'm trying to read something because it won't, or if I'm writing, if I'm writing and someone's talking to me while I'm trying to write something and read, I'll write what you're saying instead of what I'm supposed to. So I can't be distracted when I'm writing. I lose, I lose the focus immediately. Trying to make a dangle. Trying to make it full. I like pearls. You guys know me. I love, 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 love pearls. Hi, Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Me, that looks like she's looking up in a balcony. Yeah, it looks like she's looking over a lace, you know, little bush. Yeah, and I'm going to probably go from here to here. Or a window box. And those are like the flowers. This one's already in the store. And this one will go in. I like that. I like the little, I just want the pearls to dangle down on that. And then I got this one. Hold on. We're going to, we're going to use, this one's already in the store. I'm going to do a running stitch on this one. And this was, this one's a embroidered organza type. It's one of my favorite. Oh my God. All that gorgeousness just just want to dive through the screen. <laughs> I'll be right back, ladies. Okay. So, um, The little applique, uh, the applique is in the store. This one's in the store. This one's in the store as well. And of course, I already told you that. Um, some of these are in the, this one's going to be released. This will be released this week. And so will the other dangle that I have. Um, the other Renice were in a beautification. That one needs to stay. I try to keep them in a little container for about two weeks to get the smells um, beautified.
tiny little town. I'm right in the middle. Oh yeah, you're you're in um Houston, Dallas area, right? Do you got are you close to Daiso? Oh, this is a nice thing my uh, somebody sent me my my niece dollar general stores to dedicate the first hour after opening to senior shoppers only good i i second that they need to all these damn younger folks need to let the older folks get their stuff damn it excuse my friends i get upset when i see that mm-hmm all these younger folks need to let the disabled and the um, older population, the elderly, get their stuff. That's not fair. Yeah. Have some respect. Have some respect for your elders. The mama should have talked to you. You didn't hear me before I said, I said hello, I'm sorry. I said hi, Sandra. I said hi. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to go with that one. started putting up those uh, drive-through testing tents along the borders in New York over here. Uh-huh. So you could drive through and test to see if you have the virus. Wow. I don't know. There's this just, just just something about this just doesn't sound right. Like why do some people say they have it but they don't have any symptoms? It's like because you know, but um, the symptoms come like when it starts. There are you don't see any symptoms. You don't start seeing the symptoms until it's like way too late. <laughs> but some of like one of the the, the um, basketball player for Utah says he could be he doesn't even feel any symptoms whatsoever, and that's yeah. the scary part. He doesn't feel anything, and he's quarantined. Yep. He says he could be walking down the street and not feel a darn thing. Yeah, because you, it, it lays dormant until it, it wakes up. Like you could have the, you could have like the, the virus, like, like, God forbid, AIDS. You could have the AIDS. So does uh, that mean that those that have it um, eventually is going to come back and bite them in the butt again? Say that again? Like the ones that have it, like the ones that has it right now. Uh -huh. um, you know that it's supposedly like that a basketball player saying he 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 right. doesn't feel anything different he could be walking down the street and no one would know other than the fact right. that, you know people know he's a basketball player that it yeah it, it, it does it depends on whether your body attacks it and gets rid of it if you you have a weak immune system it might develop and turn into the, the full blown virus, but if um, your immune system is strong, uh, even if you don't know it, that you have it, it'll fight it off and it'll go away like a cold, you know, like the regular flu. It's just scary to me. It's just scary that there's this, this thing that some, some it's affecting some, it's hurting some, but not everyone. I mean, it's like, what is it that they're not telling us about it? No. What are they not telling us about this darn thing? They're no. they're they're winning. They're now wanting to close. There's got to be something to it because they're locking everything down. If if this wasn't something serious, why are why are they why why if if it wasn't as serious as is everyone else is saying, right? Why are they now trying to lock everyone down? What are they not telling us? That that there are people who have it and are spreading it, not knowing that they have it. So yeah, that's why they want to lock everybody down. So those that don't, that have it, like me, I could have it. I haven't gone to the doctor. You could have it. 
you haven't gone to the doctor and we could go out and we could infect someone not knowing if, if, if we don't go get tested. Yeah, but I understand that. I, I totally understand that. But what I'm trying to get at is what is it that they're not telling us that now there's all of a sudden every, I mean, every state is trying to lock down everybody. What is it that we're not being told about this? They're just um, trying to stop it. They, they want people to sit still so it doesn't spread. Yeah, but there's got to be more to it. Uh, okay, they don't want it to spread. There's hi, Michelle. There's there's more to it. How deadly is this? That I mean, is it something that, um, yeah, it's gonna stay dormant, but it's gonna come back. I mean, you know what I'm trying to get at? It's supposed you're supposed it's it's curable, you know, if you're quarantined, you know, and let it ride and let them take care of you with the proper medications. Um, something's just not right. Something's not sitting right in my head. They started a trial, and today, I don't know if anybody watches the news. I just saw it online. Um, they started a trial where, uh, with a group of people where they're infecting them with this thing, this virus, to develop, shut up, Oscar, to develop a, a vaccine for it. And it's a, I think it's a one-year trial. And today, with the, they were they're going to be giving it the shot. I think in t on two occasions, and wait a year, and hopefully they'll be able to track it, the virus, and get a vaccine done. It's just something about it. It's just I don't know what it is about it. I keep I told Eric I said something about this does not sound right to me. Why are they so jumping the gun to want to close down governments? You know, shut down everything over this they've never done it with any the ebola ebola they didn't shut down stuff like they've done with this yeah but it wasn't this it wasn't this bad still i mean the ebola, ebola was bad but not like this we had a not going from one side of the world to the other so quickly laura says she thinks it was created to thin out the population get rid of the old and the sick and pass over the young and healthy. I think so too. Young, I think the young people are who are spreading it. I don't know. I think I think so too. I think it's something about controlling the population. I don't know. I'm not into you know. I'm not into those. They came people. from China. For all we know, they they sent it off first for the helmet. But that, but look, look at their people. They are the ones that got it. They're the ones that got hit first. Yeah, and their people, um, you know, they opened up that town that it originated from. Mm -hmm. They opened up that town. You know? They must have it under control. I don't know. Something's not right. Something's not sitting down with me right. Something is not right. Right, we're going to go around the circle because I forgot I have to go around the circle. I want to cut a piece of this because I want some of this on there too. Something's definitely not right. This one's already in the store. Um, Something's definitely hmm, not right. What did I take out for this? Yeah, they do have that law in China where they're only allowed to have like one child or one point two or two child children because they are overpopulated, overpopulated over there. yeah because they don't let their people out yeah they do have that law if they let their people out there you know without any problem those people would locate everywhere mm -hmm. around the world so it wouldn't be so populated but they squeeze their people in there it's almost like like cuba they keep them over there they don't let them out Sandra is loving all the laces and trims. What should be that here? That everybody be allowed only to have one child? Oh, hell no. I don't agree with that. Nobody's going to tell me what, how big my family is going to be. Wow. Well. 
some people shouldn't be having kids and they have kids. Well, if they, no, they shouldn't be. Maybe there there are people that shouldn't be having kids, but you know what? The whole the whole world shouldn't have to pay for, you know, a, a group that like a rotten apple <laughs> shouldn't spoil the whole bunch. Well, and you don't know you don't know who who look look, look at that case with that little young boy from California. Um, what was his name? Gabriel. His mom beat beat him. The stepdad beat him. They mistreated him. They abused him. Um, Do you know people need to be, you know, whipped for the rest of their lives, not even put in jail. Just tie them to a post and whip them till they're, you know. You know, those those kind of people shouldn't have kids. You know? No, they shouldn't. But then again, how do you know? How how do you know? Like you don't popping out. She kept popping out kids. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, you know, other parents has murdered their kids. They've had lots of kids and they've murdered every single one yep. of them. Yep. And then, then there's people that want to have kids and they can't have kids. Exactly. They got to go out to other countries because they make it so hard to adopt a child here. You know, mm -hmm. some people shouldn't have kids. Well, unfortunately, that is not in our hands. Oh, I love that trim. Oops, something just fell. And I glued this one down, but I lift it up so we can tuck underneath. Oscar, shut up. No. Is that one in your store too? Yeah, this one should. I think this one is. I think she put this one in the store because I remember her taking the picture and I told her she had to have a better picture of it. So mm -hmm. I believe it is. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it, but I think it is because I remember it was sitting on my desk before she took off. It's gorgeous. I love it. But we don't have too much of it left. This one. We have maybe 10 yards of it. We didn't get too many of that. Love it, love it, love it. And those are all little pearls around it, right? Because my screen is like small because I'm watching. Yeah, it has, it came with little, that, that trim has pearls already on it. Oh, <sighs> Um, and I'm thinking we're trying to get this one back in. I didn't get enough of it thinking of doing something like that. And I wish I had gotten this one in smaller, but we couldn't get it. And No, that's too big for me. Yeah, no. Too free for, for me. Cut it out, dog. And this one is a bridal one that we have in the store already. And I like this one here because it almost looks like she has she's on a balcony. Yeah, I'm looking through a window, yeah. Yeah, that's what it gives me the impression. And this one, a little bit of a dangle. Um, I like pearls, so I tend to have a lot of pearls on my stuff. I don't like. Up a little, it up, give it a little bit of a bump there.
pram that we have, it's a little bit more uplifting. Oh, Lordy, I'm too tired now. You're tired, Miss Laura. Will you up early? Patricia says, so gorgeous, man. Thank you. I know you guys like the lacy stuff, the lacy projects. The lacy projects. I know. My little box looks so stinking adorable. Okay. No, she was, um, she, it's not that she's tired. They're talking about adoption. And, oh. adopting now. and she says, no, I'm too tired for that now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, to raise a child, it costs money. <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to take a potty break. Move this. You're on. Potty break, potty break. All right. We got 22 in the house. Let's hit that thumbs up. Show our host some love. Share. Tell your friends. Tell it on the mountain. That maze crafting. I wish I could reach through the screen. Look at how gorgeous that is. Unbelievable. And she's got layer upon layer upon layer. Because she you can't see it because she has it um she has it not, not blocked. Yeah, she has it like turned off. She can see it. She knows how many, but we can't. I lost count of how many layers. <laughs> Too many layers, probably. Yeah, it was. I was saying it was a layer upon layer of a layer of lace. Yeah, there's no need to. It's useless to try and count. Too many layers, Miss Laura. Too many yeah. layers. So I'm gonna go with that because I like that, and we still gotta do the back, and we still gotta go frame her. Are you gonna make a loaded hoop or something that you're gonna finish the back? No, 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 God, no. Now I put some dangles on it to hang her. Uh oh. Just some little fringy stuff to hang her off of a. Now we'll put some pearls on there. I like the colors, the peachy colors, the creamy colors. Yeah, gives it a soft, softer look. Mm -hmm. Not too pinky. I know Miss Patricia says there goes May with the pink. She don't like that pink. <laughs> Not too pinky. And I and I and I, you know, for the most part, if it's a soft baby pink. Like the one that I just showed you guys, I do like that. Yeah. But I am trying to move around the decor here in the house. These are in the store. These little appliques. They are or they aren't. They are. Oh. All right. So this is what we have so far without the appliques. I lift her up. And then I got some curls that we're going to put down. Me too, Patricia. The, the, 
the, the pastels are awesome. It doesn't matter if they're pink, blue, mint, lavender. They just the softness of it all. You like it. The, yeah, and the femininity in it, that the feel. No, don't cover all that prettiness. No, I'm not. I'm I'm looking at where I can cut because there's like little app. This Whoa. is a this is an applique in the store, so all these little pieces can be cut out individually. Mm. That's what I'm looking at, but hmm. She's like over there. No, 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 don't do that. I was about to cry. <laughs> We're probably gonna go around with this one. I like the crochet feel of this one. That's right. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go all the way in. I'm just gonna go right up to here. Talk about some massive burns. Massive burns. Don't you have those little thumb cover thingies, silicone thumb, finger covers? I do, but I don't like anything. My hands are swollen, so I don't like anything tight on my hands. Oh yeah, it will cut off your circulation. If it's too. Tight. I feel like it's. I feel like someone's strangling. I don't know why. It's a, it's a mental thing. It's a mental, I don't know. And I got my little silicone finger here. But as you notice, I did not use it when I should. That's our job, Rose. We're supposed to spoil the children and say yes to everything and let the parents handle them when they get them back. <laughs> What's that? What are you talking about? Grandkids? Grandkids. I don't they have any. Her grandkids tell, her, tell their, their mama, but Mimsy lets me, and then she gets in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's our job. They write you out, huh? Mm hmm. We're supposed to spoil them. Those quick kids are quick to wrap people out. It's I called think, revenge, says Karen. Yes. Pay that. I, I didn't get did you I didn't get spoiled by my grandmother. My my grandmothers were mean. Let me tell you, it is so funny now when I see my kids with my grandkids. And they come to me and they say, you are not going to believe what so-and-so did. I almost killed them. And I must have told them a million times. And I just sit there smiling. <laughs> and I look at them and I go, payback is so good. Shut up, mom. <laughs> Cracks me up. I can't wait to do that to my, especially my son. Oh, my God. I cannot wait till my son becomes a father. Because he is such a diva. Oh, yeah. You know, and things have to be a certain way. And if they're not a specific way, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. he'll, he'll change once he has his kids. Yeah, of course. Of course. And he, he'll he change without even knowing that he's changing. And he got he got that. I, I, I think he's, I, I'm looking at my brother again. It's like, are you my brother's child? Because you were not. I asked not how I acted growing up. I did not. Miguel is going to be a great father. He, he's he been an uncle since he was, what, nine? Yeah, he became an uncle at nine. And he is so good with all the all the nieces and nephews. And he, sometimes he gets mad at his brother or, uh, when he lets the kids get out of control. And he corrects him. <laughs> like, the younger one corrects the older one. I crack up, but he's good. I could tell he's gonna be a good dad. Hi, Marge. Hey, Marge. 
How are you? All right, we got some of this. This is another trim that's in a store, and we're probably going to go around and do some little fussy cutting of it and attach it. And this, again, these are trims that you can fussy cut. Yep, Rose, yep. I can't wait till my kids become parents. I really can't. I keep telling them. Yeah. Yeah, when you become a parent, oh, I'm going to see okay, her. Patricia will be here. She's got to send her puppies out to a potty. Okay. Um, I, I told my kids, when you become a parent, I'm going to sing, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so song. Mm -hmm. I okay. cannot wait. I know that's probably bad, but I really can't wait. Look at Michelle. She, look, she goes, I told my oldest grandson I was going to teach him things to do so he could be like his mom at 12. All I heard from the other room was, Mom, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, she, Joyce. Hello, Miss Joyce. Don't you just love it? It's like. They, they, they forget, you know, they forget what they did. I want to, that's a, that's the applique. I've cut it twice. I love being able to cut these up. They forget what they've done, you know? Yep. I see now, um, my youngest Gio, Giovanni, Jose's son, and he is just like Jose. He looks like his mother now because he's changed he's growing and everything but he is my son all the way the person that, and he likes to take apart things and put things together i said hide your hide your electronics i said because he's gonna do to you what you did to me because payback is coming hey, why you say that mom i said look at him playing with those legos he is focused he's put putting them strategically he's not just not snapping them in there he's concentrating and that was you uh -huh. I say he's going to be do something with his hands and he's going to start taking apart things. She didn't finish the book box. She said she has to finish it, right, May? Yeah, I have to finish it. Well, we're waiting on the mold so that we can do the um the C thingy on it and oh. then and then we'll finish it. Michelle says she has video of her kids so she can show her grandkids. Yeah. Oh, partner, you did good. You did yeah. good. That was good. That's good evidence. Yeah. Good evidence. Have a movie night. <laughs> you know, you should write a book and tell parents this is what you should do yeah. when you become a parent. Um, make sure you take plenty of videos as evidence <laughs> um, so that you can show your child what they did. Because you know what? She says, my daughter, my daughter comes over and looks for them because she's afraid I'll show Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. it. That's what we should do. We should, that should be written in a book. You know, what to do, what to do when you become a parent. Make sure you record everything. Take videotapes for evidence for when they grow up. <laughs> yes. Yes, March. She's making a, a wall hanging. It's a, a embroidery hoop. Wall hanging. Have evidence for when they grow up and they say, no, I didn't do that. Oh, really? Hold on. Exhibit A. <laughs> Exhibit A. Do you remember when? Oh, look at Karen. She's so bad. My granddaughter would get hyper on chocolate, so my son and daughter-in-law wouldn't let them have it after four o'clock in the afternoon. I would give it to her. <laughs> she would ask, wait, she would ask, is this if this was a secret? And she'd say yes. <laughs> I did the same thing. Giving them candy. And then I said, have a nice night. <laughs> that's horrible. Yes, yes. That's horrible, but that's what we keep saying we're gonna do to our grandkids when we become no, no, <laughs> listen to this. My daughter. Who did not eat a vegetable the <laughs> whole time growing up? She wants her kids fruit. She gives her kids, they eat good with fruits and vegetables. I'm proud of that. But uh, when I go over there every now and then, I come with dulce, I come with candy <laughs> and popcorn and chips and, and 
mom, don't get, let me hide it. I'll give it to them for snack later. No, I want them to have it now. I want to see them enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and my, and my son is all about no soda for the kids. Give them just water. And I said, okay. And then I, you know, I'll slip them some soda. <laughs> well, you know what? I think my mom, I think, you know, I have to say, I had a right. Yes. Toys given like, oh my gosh, I gave him a, 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 a drum set. Oh my God, mom. Educational toys. See, that's what I did with my kids. My mom got me hard on that one. <laughs> Do you, Gio is so active and hyper. He got, and my son got him a, a indoor trampoline, you know, with the little handle. So Gio can jump on it and get rid of his energy. I'm like, oh, please. <laughs> We didn't have that when you were growing up. We just let you walk or run around. Jump on the couch, right? On the bed? Jump on the couch, from the couch to the chair. <laughs> that, that didn't last for long because that's one thing I don't put up with, jumping on furniture. Oh, I used to whack them with the wet, a wet washcloth, snap them. Well, let me tell you, growing up, my mom, she was very, very strict with us. But one thing, we never had a limit. Guys, if you're coming in, thank you so much for joining us. We have 25 people watching us. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. But look, my mom was so strict. Like she she was strict to the sense where I couldn't go out and do things that other kids were doing my age, right? And I thought, oh, man. And I just had to write a paper for my class about, you know, the cultures and parenting and the different cultures because growing up, I couldn't go out. I couldn't do anything. My brothers, I had to stay indoors and clean the house from the age of seven while my brothers were outdoors having fun. You know, everyone else was playing and I was indoors cleaning at, since seven, cleaning, doing laundry, helping with, you know, food or whatever my mom needed help with. At first seven, you know, you think, oh, cool, I'm like my mom. And you thought that was cool until everyone else was out having fun. Well, anyway, she would let us have, she would let us have sodas. My mom did not eat vegetables. She did not drink milk. She didn't, she didn't like any of that stuff. Oh my but, God. Goes, I would give them paints and Play-Doh and lots of art supplies. Yes. Go draw on the walls. <laughs> oh go on the furniture and on the rugs. I'm gonna keep a note. I'm gonna keep a tab of everything you guys are saying you did to your grandbabies, and I'm gonna do it to my kids. But my the mom, stickiest, the stickiest candy. <laughs> yeah, my mom. She would let us drink sodas. She would let us. You know, we didn't have a we didn't have a bedtime. I didn't. When my chores were done, that's when I went to bed. When homework was done, that's when I went to bed. I did not have any chores. All right. So this is from the the um. The lace that, that we were gonna have in the shop, it's in the beautification process and I cut it up, I used it. Where did it go? In here, one of these layers. Oh, right here. Here it is, it's the trim. Oh, yeah, I can't see it. Marge says, I drove my daughter nuts because she could never go with the, go get them into a shopping cart again while shopping. <laughs> <laughs> And going through, this is another thing that my kids stopped. I had them arrested. They would run through the clothes. And I had my oldest son arrested by a security guard. He didn't know the difference. And he would run, you know, where they would leave your side. You'd tell them, don't go anywhere. Stay with me. I'm looking right here. And all of a sudden, they disappear under the clothes. Well, he did that. So I hid. And I went outside. And I got a security guard. And I said, you see that little boy over there? I need you to arrest him. And he arrested him. Jose panicked. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had Miguel arrested too. Lily, I let get lost also in a cra at a craft fair. And I I had her arrested. I was watching from far away and they had security. And I said, see that other girl over there? I was in the next aisle and she came over here. Go arrest her. And you know. They went over to her and she was like, I can't find my mommy. And they had her up there and well, Lillian's mommy, please come to blah, 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 blah. And I went and I said, she goes, you left me. I said, no, you left me. And I told you I wasn't going to go look for you, that I would leave you and take my crap wow. home. Wow. Never again, never again. 
Okay, I want to interrupt. So this is the trim that's going to be, it's in the beautification process. I've tried, the, the great thing about these trims is that you can cut them out to be like appliques or use them as a whole piece of trim. Um, so that's Ooh, what we're- like a little person. Hold up that one. It does. The head, the arms, and the legs, like a sick person, but a pretty sick person. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put that down there. But um, anyway, my mom said we could have sodas, we can have- all kinds of sweets. We could. We didn't have a curfew. Uh, not. We had a curfew. Um, at least I did. Um, we we could do anything. You know, we can stay up late. We can watch TV, even if it was a school night. So when I became a parent, it was important to me. Like I didn't have to put pajamas. I didn't have to put PJs. I didn't know what was to sleep in PJs. I would sleep in jeans, not jeans, in t-shirts and shorts. You know, or sweats. Yep. I didn't have PJs. I didn't have slippers or anything like that. I slept with whatever I wanted to sleep mm -hmm. with, you know, as long as I didn't sleep in my panties. Well, um, when I became a parent, of course, my kids had bedtime. They had, I, I was that mom that had, they had to have bedtime snacks. They had to brush their teeth. They had, they had a shower. Then they had um, their bedtime snack and then they had their, um, their teeth brush. And of course they've always had a bedtime. But I didn't want my kids to have diet sodas. I didn't want my kids to have um, candy and, and they had to have educational toys. And my mom's like, why are you doing this to these kids? I didn't do that to you. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this. Uh, no, Lord, they, none of my kids ever forgot when I had them arrested. Um, Michelle says, little daughter would not stay in her car seat. So one, dry, one day driving down the road, she got out and I saw a cop parked, so I pulled over next to the cop, the cop, and said, "I need your help." <laughs> I took my girls to school, says Rose, with hot rollers in my hair. They were mortified that was when I used to run and dance and play Spanish music and or Mexican music. Everybody thought my children were Mexican. They're like, they would run to the car when I had to pick them up at school. Your kid? I told her. Yeah, I used. To, I, I did. I still do it to 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 Miguel. I drive up and I'll find some thingy thingy music on the radio or or throwing a CD, and I'll play that stuff loud, and he runs to the car fast. That way we can leave fast. <laughs> he, he gets embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, all of them did. Mom, why do you do that? I said, because it's fun. <laughs> Michelle said, I told him she wouldn't stay in the car to the police officer in the car seat so could he tell her the next time he sees her out she will go to jail he kind of looked unsure but i said i have three warnings wor warnings work with two of what but i said i have three warnings work with two this one oh what is so much fun my son was a crier. Oh my God, did that boy cry. I can't wait till he becomes a parent because I just want to be able to say, hmm, sucks to be a parent, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, so the cop went over and he would arrest her next time he saw her out of her seat and no more mommy. She never got out of her seat again. Yeah, sometimes you got to give him a good scare. All right, we're going to, we cut this one up and we're going to tuck it underneath. I think I was a pretty cool mom. I didn't want to be uh, overly strict. I was strict, but I didn't want to be um, yeah. strict, uh, unreasonably strict. You didn't want to be that mom that was like, oh. I didn't want to be that mom. I made my mistakes, but I didn't want to be that mom where, where they were miserable. I didn't want that. I think I like that there. And we're going to probably put that there. Okay. I like that. Yeah, the kids, they have rules now, The my kids for their kids. And I'm like, get real. Yeah, now they have bedtimes and they have this and they have that. That was me. And when, I, and when they, my kids were growing up, because I was working all the time and commuting, I would have what I would call Jose days, Lily days, and Miguel days, where I would take, you know, I would say, okay, today's a Jose day. And that day I would spend all day with Jose doing what he wanted. We would go to lunch, we would go to the park, we would go to a movie, we would buy a toy at the dollar store or whatever he wanted, you know. And I had that was my 
my thing. And now they do it with their kids. Aww. I like that. Yeah. They have their, their penny day and their angel day. You know, I, I, I like the fact that my kids, um, uh, I think, I think it's because my, my, my upbringing was so strict. Um, where I, I did a lot of, your mom, your mom was really old school. I did a lot of the clean. That, that was my dad, and he would let my mom handle the raising of the children. But my mom was pretty cool. She yeah. was strict, but she she let me get away with things. I had to spend a lot of time. I think that's why I have such a massive OCD about cleaning. About I can't stand yeah, yeah. in a lot of place. And um, because my mom, it, it was just from the time I was seven, I, I cleaned and. That's what I did. And if the baseboards were dirty, I had to get on my hands and knees and clean it. If guess was coming over, forget it. So this is an applique that I cut into two. I got one down here, one over here. And that one, that one's already in the store. But yeah, um, so it's funny. I had to write a paper about that in school, um, about the, 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 the cultural upbringing and the differences. And I think that that's oh, wow. why I don't make my kids now. Like my kids have chores, but they don't have to clean like I had to clean. Like I would not expect my kids to clean up the house because that that's just. Oh, no, I give them a room, and you know what? All my kids are clean. You should. I, I am so proud of that. At least Miguel is. Miguel is. Is he can't stand it? He has to clean, and when he gets upset, he cleans. Lily purges. When it gets into her that she wants to clean or whatever, one night she woke up, Miguel, at like one o'clock in the morning, help me clean. And the next thing, she's throwing out bed frame, mattress, everything, dressers. In your house? Or in your house? Or in my house? Her house. This oh, is her house. Cool. Yeah. Huh? Your kids hid, hid, in the, hid in the stores? I got one better for you. Miguel used to hide in the cabinets and then wouldn't answer me when I couldn't find him. That was Nani. I and I would freak it. out because he would get out of the house sometimes. One day he left the house and I'm screaming and we had a pool in the back that we were renting uh, the house at. And I'm screaming. I'm thinking, oh, my God, the pool, even though it was covered. And I'm running out there thinking my son is in the pool. Next thing, the doorbell's ringing. He went down in his diapers down the street. Thank God it was a private road. Knocked on, on the neighbor's door. Can I go to your bathroom? <laughs> why did he ask? Why did he ask uh, the neighbor? Huh? Why did he ask the neighbor if he could go to his, their bathroom? Well, he he left, left the house and he started walking. And I guess he got the urge, and he was being potty trained, and he couldn't remember where home was, so he went to the house that he saw the the next house he saw. And my neighbor comes home, and I'm and she hears me screaming in the house. And she's knocking on my door and ringing my doorbell. I have your son. Oh my God. I would have passed. You know what? My, my Brianna, Brianna has been, my kids are messy. I have to say my son, um, he has, he's had my OCDs, um, where he likes to have things clean. Mm -hmm. But That's here lately, since he's been hanging out with his friends and he's going to school and you know, he doesn't want to clean because now he's too busy to clean. Um, but if you moved his toys, he knew someone moved his toys. Yep, that's me. That's me. And but my girls, Carla, oh my god, my mom used to call me at work and she would say, <laughs> Tell something to this child. She comes in and my house is clean and she she gets here and becomes a tornado. She had a name for them. She called them tsunami. Hurricane Katrina and tornado. Because um, Brianna was Hurricane Katrina um, because she still is Hurricane Katrina. I can have the house spotless, spotless right now. And all it takes, Brianna, to walk in the room, that's all it takes. Her room has always been a nightmare for me since day one. That child has given me the gray hairs that I have. She's obedient. She's not out, you know, in the streets, doesn't, is not chasing boys, none of that. My girls were never like that, but neither is my son. But boy, is that, that child messy. I guess I take the mess over being out in the street, being, you know, doing what she shouldn't be doing. 
Yeah. But that girl has, she's the opposite of me. Uh, total opposite. My girls are the opposite of me. My son, on the other hand, he's never liked his hands dirty. He's never liked a mess. Yep. Um, and he can yep. tell if someone moves something out of his room. Mm -hmm. But my girls, not so much. Karen says, May, it keeps getting prettier and prettier. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, so this is what we have so far. We just kind of cut some appliques and things from the store, and we're going to put some um, stuff wow, in the back. So funny. What's that? She says her son will go into the men's bathroom and then not come out and not say anything, and she'd be walking into men's bathrooms. To get him out? To get him out. He would just to be standing there. He wouldn't come out because he knew she would, you know, lose it. She'd freak out. Yeah. I'm telling you, these kids are, they're, they're, they're something else. I never said that. That's one thing I never did. Uh, I never sent my, my kids into the bath, public bathrooms by themselves. Me never. Either. My son went to the girls bathroom. Yeah. If Eric wasn't around, he went to the girls bathroom for yeah. like ever. Okay. We're going to go here. We are going to add some flowers from the store. Um, and this is an, another applique from the shop. Um, but my son um, I always, always, and he's like, mom, I'm starting to get too big. Nope. Eric's not here. You're going in a girl's bathroom with me. Cause you don't know, there's some perverts out there. Mm -hmm. Never know. Oh my God. You know, you, it's true. And it's I can't true. wait to be a parent, grandparent. I keep, I keep telling Carla, when are you going to give me a grand grandchild? Because <laughs> Um, I would come home from work tired, exhausted, and I would have to clean up the mess she left in my mom's house because my mom babysat her. And I wanted to kill that girl. I'm like, girl, <sighs> I would lose my mind. Like, why are you doing this to me, child? <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies, I'm pulling up the link to May's store. There you go. So you can go look at all the goodies that she's using here tonight. My daughter is a mess, I tell you. That's one thing that I could never stand. The, 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 I, I'm glad that they got that, you know, that they're clean. I think, I think for the most part, my kids are. It, 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 it's um, like Carla's room, you'll walk in there when she was growing up. She liked to make a mess in other people's spaces, like, and walk away and leave the space. You know? Oh, no. See, if my kids would have done that, they would have been killed. They know. That was something my parents didn't let me do either. When we went someplace, I got the speech. No te atreva a entrar en los cuartos. Te queda sentado. Don't move. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, rooms, like, um, when I mean, like, rooms de gente ajena, no, my kids. I never let my kids go in and houses oh that's not, yeah that's what i'm saying i never let my kids do that my parents taught me that mm -hmm. and i never did i was always afraid yeah you never i i never let my kids spend the night at anybody's house and they're like why can't we spend the night at no. house? It's like no i didn't get to spend the night at no one's house so guess what you got a house you got a good bed right here <laughs> see that was one thing i didn't do I, I didn't get my first sleepover, and that was after we moved out of the Bronx uh, until I was 14. And my best friend was in the city. And and I told I was so miserable about moving and leaving. And he let me have my first sleepover only because he knew her and the family because they lived across the street from us for many years. Uh, but my kids, I let them have sleepovers when I thought they were old enough and and could you know run away or whatever and that i knew the family that you know my kids could have people over and i know that's probably double standards but no, same, same here um same but here. i would not have them spend the night at anybody's because you know what i read a story i had an article i had to write when i was um going to one of my political science classes was an article about um was a criminal just one of my criminal one of my classes um was an article of a parent let a child spend the night at um at a friend's house 
and the good night, Denise. Good night, Miss Denise. And there was a fire. Oh my god. And yeah, and so guess what? She was killed in their their in those people's house fire mm. that night. She, you know, they they lost her daughter. Um, they let her spend the night, and I'm always telling them no because I can control what happens here. I can't control what happens in someone else's house, you know. And the parents were always trying to see if they could find something that belonged to their child from that fire. Oh my god couldn't find anything at all you know oh wait i was like no way uh -uh. no they got when they were old enough I let the, and that i knew the, the family you know other than that you know it was pretty safe it was pretty good i was lucky they they had good friends and good people around them and they knew they knew yeah I had, I had such I didn't a, want to be like that because I didn't, I missed a lot. You know, I would get invited to sleepovers and I would, I would be the one that would be allowed to go. No. And I felt left, left out. So when that came, that time came and I felt that they were old enough and I knew the people that they were going to be with and where they lived and how they lived, you know, that I, that they were people that I knew, then I, I allowed it. But if it was somebody to this day, when Miguel goes and says, I'm staying at so-and-so's, he knows the drill. If it's somebody new that I don't know, he knows the drill. It's name, address, telephone number, when are you getting there, when are you leaving, call me when you get there. All of them do it. Mm -hmm. All of them. They know. He, I don't even have to ask. He, he automatically tells me. And Lily was a wildcat. She would disappear on me, but now she now she's getting it, you know, now that she's got her three. She's yeah. lucky she don't have a girl, because imagine if she had a girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. My mom always said, Hijo fuiste, padre será lo que tu hiciste. Mm -hmm. And tus hijos, oh, I think, guys, my, oh, I thought my gluten broke. I was like, oh, my God, my gluten is like, I don't know how old, and it's finally breaking. No. Okay. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Um. So my mom always said, Hijo fuiste, padre será lo que tu hiciste, en tus hijos verá. That means... Um, a, a child you were and a parent you will be. What you did in your child and your child you will see. That makes good trans. Is that I translate that right? Yep, you did it perfectly. That means that whatever you did to your parents growing up, you're gonna see it in your kids. Yeah, my little blue gun thingy, the nozzle thingy, and I have to replace the nozzle. I have to replace my. That's, that's one nice thing about where I am now in this boondocks. Everybody mm -hmm. knows everybody. Everybody knows. People know me that I don't even know. That's scary, you know? though. Huh? That's scary. No, it's a small. It's a small town, and you they get to know you because of your kids. You know, the kids go visit. Like I have people coming up to me saying, oh, you're Miguel's mom. They know who I am. And I'm like, yeah, who, who, who are you? I'm so-and-so's mother. Oh, okay. So, so when they sleep over each other's houses, people basically knows who, who they are, who the family is. Because everybody shows up at the same events, the small events that they have here and bump into each other at Walmart. My son is so independent now that he's got a job. Like he's very independent. Like, you know, he's he's a workaholic. He's got really good work ethic. Like that boy will not miss a day of work. Um, he yeah, doesn't miss a day of school. Nothing. He's got very good work ethics. Yeah, Miguel, Miguel and Miguel and uh, Jose were like that. Lily was like I said, my wild child. She's the one that would give me gray hairs and heart attacks and palpitations and. Fainting spells and you name it, she gave it to me. I gotta replace my glue gun. I believe that. I broke, I snapped something in my glue. Look at this, look at this, people. Look at we're yakking away here. Look at look at that gorgeousness. Oh my gosh. I broke one the the handle has um a little spring. I must have fallen off or something.
but yeah. Um, oh. So he was talking about, oh, when I graduate, I am going to move out. And I'm like, yeah, mm, um, I hope you enjoy paying your bills. <sighs> and he's like, what? Bills? <laughs> oh, I said, oh, yeah, that's what happens when you become an adult. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you decide you're going to move out of mom and dad's house, don't think that you're going to move out of mom and dad's house. Let me tell um, you, when Miguel got his first paycheck, it was the funniest thing from his first summer job uh -huh. he got his check and he he said why is this he came home he didn't open the envelope in the check until he got home my god mom why are they taking all this out what is this what is this <laughs> i said that's tio sam he's like who the heck is tio sam i don't who the hell is tio sam that's uncle sam <laughs> and I'm like, that's the old Sam. He, he he helps himself to your pockets and he puts it to Social Security and the tax here and the tax there. And, you know, and he's like, my God, mom, that is so much. I said, yeah, now you know why mom would say no a lot when you say, mom, can I get this? Because still Sam stuck his hands in my pocket before I even got my check. Yep. <clears throat> my son is cheap. I have to say, my son is cheap. Oh my god, I feel sorry for him when he when he starts to date girls. And uh, these are all pearls from the store as well. This one's a pack of twenty. You get a pack of twenty of these. Um, he is beyond cheap. O M G. Where did he get that from, though? That, those are things that make me curious. Something like that. The parents aren't like that. So where did he pick that up from? Um, I typically am cheap. I am cheap. <laughs> I did not expect that. You didn't expect me to be cheap? No, because you're not cheap. You're very generous. So it doesn't match up. <laughs> Generosity does not match up. No, I, I, but see, that's because I think about others. See, there's a big difference between my son and I, where I think about, oh, um, if I see that this is um, $10 here, I'm going to try to find it cheaper, you know, find a way to get it cheaper because I'm frugal about stretching that dollar. Yep. You know, I'm always thinking about other people. There's a big difference between that's where I try to tell my son is I'm always trying to stretch the dollar. And I'm always trying to help people where yeah. him on the other hand, mm -mm, don't ask him, don't ask him for no money. You know, it's like, uh-uh. His money is his money, and he is just that cheap. I got I got a nephew like that. He's such a miser. I'm like, Manny, let loose your pockets, man. Yes, Marge, that is a metal piece at the top, and May altered it. Yeah. Um, but he got that also. I'll tell you where he also got it from. Um, I think he got it a lot from my stepdad, even though my stepdad, you know, after my mom passed away, we had no, 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 nothing to do with him. But still, he got some of that influence from my stepdad because my stepdad was a cheap ass. You know, he would hide money. Oh, so my Laura says, hell, man, you just put a hundred bucks worth of lace on that one project. That ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're not that expensive in my store. <laughs> she gets the buyer's discount. <laughs> I get a buy. Well, no, and they're still cheap. They're, they're not that expensive. I don't think I, I've seen some of these laces in other people's shop and they're running like, um, they're running like. Eight ninety nine, whereas mines are not that they're they don't even come close to that, you know. And see what an applique like this, you can cut the heck out of it and make mm -hmm. so much out of it. Oh my god, this is where you you get a bang for your buck. And she's still putting things on it. Look at it. She's heck still yeah. just cutting up and layering. And I still got to put the flowers on it, and I still got to put the um, the dangles on the bottom, the the back flowers.
Yeah. Green. Yeah. It's reasonable. And yeah, they, they sell them elsewhere way more than what you charge. Yeah. There's there. I, I know that I'm not that, not, but I know there's a, several people that are selling and they sell it really high. Oh my God, Tammy, you're killing me. She says, my granddad could squeeze a fart out of a George Washington on the top. Oh my God. Such a miser. <laughs> you are too funny. Squeeze a fart out of a dollar bill. Oh. Well, my mom, my mom was not cheap. I, my mom was a very giving person. Um, I'm, I like, I'm like you. I like to get the best that I can get without, you know, spending way too much. And see yeah. that. I think that comes because, you know, we've seen so much financial hardship that when I can stretch that dollar, I will stretch the dollar as much as I can possibly stretch that dollar. Yeah. If I can stretch it, yeah, we're going to stretch it. I don't buy myself clothes. I don't. I have to tell you, I got a pair of jeans and I put them on the other day. Oh my God. My jeans are from 2011. Laura, and you got, wait, you got to hear this. Laura said, my stepdad was so tight with money, his ass squeaked when he walked. Hey, yeah. My stepdad hid money from my mom. My oh. stepdad was such a cheap ass. He hid money from my mother. And I would get so irritated with him when he would hide money from my mom. And he got busted once. I literally, I, okay, I'm going to tell you a story. And this is a real true story. So for years, my stepdad worked at a tree nursery. Um, and he was a supervisor of the labor camp. Um, he became a supervisor because he worked there 20 some years. Anyway, for years, he would tell my mom that um, for his, his, um, vacation that he had to go to work because he wasn't going to get paid right um so he would work during his vacation and i'm thinking i always thought how bizarre is that that you have to work during your vacation you know when you're supposed to get a vacation mm -hmm. and i would tell my mom that there's just because you know i was anti my stepdad and I would tell my mom, like that does that story just does not add up right, mom. That just doesn't that that dude's slime of you. Boy, yeah. was I not right. Yeah, they get time and a half or double time when they work. Well, oh, let me tell you. So what he didn't expect is as I got older, I worked in that office as a personnel manager. Guess who was doing payroll? Ooh. Guess who did payroll? Guess who did um accounts payable and accounts receivable? This one right here. I had to take care of all the employees and I did all the accounts payable, account receivable. So guess who saw and who had access to his employee records? Mm -hmm. This one right here. So I was curious because he was always doing this to my mom. And we knew um, that he was hiding money from my mother. So I went in and I checked the payroll yeah, sure enough. Every year he told my mom that he was not, he had to work because he wasn't getting, he wasn't going to get his vacation time. Um, and my mom was dumb enough to believe that crap. Um, he was actually getting paid time and a half because he got his vacation money. Yeah. Plus he got paid for going to work. Mm -hmm. And I knew it. And I was telling my mom, I'm like, mom, that doesn't work like that, you know? And so I went home, I took photocopies of all the years, all the years uh, that he had done that. That was the best thing I have ever done working in that office. Boy, I caught on to his dirty little secrets. And so he didn't think I would have access to that, but he doesn't realize I was the personnel manager. I was it in the office. I hired, I fired, you know? And so I said, to my mom, I said, hey, do you remember when he would tell you that he was, you know, vacation time and he had to work and this and that? And she's like, yeah. I said, here, he's been getting paid all these years. He's been getting paid. So one day we lived in a house up in the countryside and there was cornfields. Well, the cornfield on both sides covered up the driveway in the summertime when the 
corn got started to grow up, grow. And so one day we're up in the window. He happened to work that Saturday. He told my mom he had gone his vacation. I had already told my mom. I said, he got paid, mom. He got paid, right? He didn't know that I had access to all those little records. He was that dumb. So I went in and um, I, I, when he tried telling that to my mom, I said, you got paid. He says, no, I didn't. You know, I didn't get paid. I'm like, yes, you did. You got paid. Well, that day we were watching through the window. We saw at the end of the driveway before he got in, he, there was a mailbox up in the uh, dirt road and we can see from the window him opening up the back of the trunk. It was, it was a Saturday. He went out, said he was working that day. And so I didn't work. I worked Monday through Fridays. So when um, he came home, my mom was ready. We went and got all kinds of beers and made his life. He was, he was the man of the hour. We were giving him beers left and right. When he was so drunk and out of it, we went with flashlights to the trunk, lifted up the tire, and sure enough, that man, I don't know how much money he had underneath the trunk, underneath the tire. Oh, yes. Wow. And so my mom was so stupid. I wanted to kill him. I'm not kill her, but I wanted to choke her at that time. Like yeah, I, it was frustrating. I wanted to just, I, I, never in my life had I ever been so upset at my mother. But no, I no, no, really, she trusted him. Well, you know what she did? She didn't want to believe that he was that way. Right. And I wanted, at that moment, I said, take all the damn money. He has been lying to you. This is the house money. This is BS, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, she didn't want to touch the money. And I said, oh, heck no. I said, grab the money, mom. Grab the money. Do you know how much she pulled out of that damn money? Out of all the money he had in there. I mean, it was, I'm telling you, it was a lot of money. Pulled out $500. And I said, $500? That's all you're going to take? And she's like, he's going he's gonna to notice. Well, the next morning, he had a habit of counting his money. He noticed that money was missing. He was panicking. Mm -hmm. He was up and down. He was like pacing, but he couldn't tell my mom why he was pacing. And we were laughing. And I was upset at my mom. I said, you should have taken the whole thing. He will not confront you about this because he knows he's lied to you all these years. So when she died, she always said, I want to be able to find the stack of money where he's hidden. Because after that incident, he moved the money somewhere else. Oh. And sure enough, we never. Okay, so here we go, guys. This is it That's right here. Same with him after that. She stayed no. with him, yes, because she never, she was afraid to start all over. I mean, he was a very abusive man to my mother. Um, but, she, you know, she didn't know, she didn't know how to move on without him. Like, she was not. Not uh, just him, move on alone. She didn't know, no, she didn't know how to start all over. I think that, you know, he was a very. They weren't taught that back in the day. No, she had, and she had, that was her third marriage. And so she didn't want to go through another, you know, I guess. I think he was part of the reason why she didn't. I mean, she would have, she would have survived her, her illness. Okay, we're going to probably put this down here. I'm sure my mom probably would have survived her illness had it not been, we're going to put it down here, had it not been. Really, what did he do with all the freaking money if he wasn't giving any, you know, to her? He's like, all, when my mom died, that man had to have, he had to have a shitload of money. And we don't know what he ever did with the money. He's always been a scammer. It's like he's always been that damn scammer. He's always had that scammer. He was mom until the end? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he was very abusive to her, too. Where is he now? Uh, he... <laughs> He lives in um, Al uh, Louisiana. He's in uh, Laura's uh, neck of the woods. And supposedly, from what I was told, because he's a dirty pervert, from what I was told, he started to um, date some girl from um, El Salvador or Honduras. Say hello. <laughs> supposedly, but supposedly he was a father. 
And I said, when I was told that story, I was like, that's a crock of BS. The man shot bullets. Mm -hmm. Blank bullets. Blank bullets. Not bullets. He shot blank bullets. And why did I know that? Because my mom probably had like maybe five or six miscarriages from him because they wouldn't develop because the doctor told her when I was 15 and she had her, her last miscarriage because he had a low sperm count. So he couldn't, the babies wouldn't develop. Babies wouldn't develop. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We're going to add some pearls to the end of these, and then we're going to add um, some flowers that we have. Wow. Look at that. Oh. He, he was an ass, ass, a straight up ass. He was very abusive to my mom. I remember one time I had just had Brianna. And um, this is before I left Delaware. Um, I walked into the room. Joyce says, thank God they were blanks. Yeah. True. Honestly, probably I would have. I don't know. I would have probably. I don't know. Anyway, I walked. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go any further. Pat, uh, Tammy says, one thing I love about people like him, like your stepdad, is that they never have personal peace because they have so much to hide. They are always on the edge. And because they're so damn cheap and cruel to other people, they, they're never going to have peace or happiness. No, no. He, 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 he'll he tell you. My mom comes out on, um, I guess my mom haunts him. I don't know. He's, he's always saying he, he hears her. Um, the last time I talked to him in 2016, he says that my mom haunts him. And I thought, good. Mm -hmm. Why she haunts her ass makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, okay, so... Um, what I was saying about him? Oh, yeah, I walked into the room and my mom covered up real quick, but I not fast enough. She had bruises all over her chest and bites on her breast. Oh and I said to her, what the hell happened? It was black and blue. It was horrible. I blamed him for a lot of stuff. And um, she told me that he had hit her, bit her, because she refused to, you know, be intimate with him. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I waited for him to come home from work. I had um, a famous field hockey stick. Mm -hmm. No. Yep, I sure did. Oh. I whacked his ass. When he walked through that door, I whacked his butt. I hit him. That's that's for doing that to my mother. Oh my God, Joyce! I'm so sorry. She said her brother-in-law killed her older sister. Yeah, I know. That was really sad. I remember her telling us that last, um, a while back, that her brother-in-law, and he has never been proven, like, they have never arrested him because I guess they didn't, money, but people come in, um, uh, um, keep it back on. Yeah, I like the, the movie The Color Purple on that line. So you do right by me, everything you do going to fail. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. So now we're going to, um, I'm going to get some flowers that are in the store. I find them. Where the heck did I throw them? Over here. Oh my gosh. Look at all that. These are not yet in the store, but they will be there. All right. And spread them out. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to get a fresh cup. I, I, I got to get ready to go to the potty. <laughs> Pretty. I like to kind of space these out. I like to do everything in the um, left-hand side. I, I tend to have, it's a visual thing. You read from left to right. So obviously everything should be well, in a composition. Well, not everything, but mostly your eyes go from left to right. So you want to try to keep everything on your left-hand side and try to move it to your right. And that way you have really good composition when you're aligning things up. 
So on here I have two and you know how I said flowers, you want to line it with three. Well, here's a perfect example. One, two, three. Um, and then I have one stamen on the top, one stamen on, and then these have the wires that you can kind of shape it to your object. And so we're going to shape these. And I will try, we're going to work on this tomorrow to load these flowers up to the store. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have, to give it color, we have this little peachy one. And this gives a little bit of a color on there. Kind of goes with that a little. And notice I don't glue anything down until I am for sure 100% that is how I want it laced. Gorgeous. And then we're going to throw in some buds. Um, here's another one, row three. I'm going to throw in some buds as well. And this has a pretty little stamen on it. It's almost like a peachy pink, but it's perfect color combination on okay, there. Good night. Good night, Miss Laura. Thank you for hanging in there, girl. She says she's fading fast. Don't fade. Don't fade. Okay, so then we have, see again, see how these have three? That's how typically most of them are. It's always three. You know, those are pretty. And of course, you can kind of move them around. I'm probably going to throw these in. Hold on. We're going to cut these up and just kind of move it in. And they have the wire. That you can kind of tear them up. And I tend to fold it and then twist it and makes it a good little yeah. stamen to or a pick, kind of give it a pick feel in there and tuck it in where you need it tucked. Now these are all going to be in the store. We're going to try to work our best to get it since the kids are out of school. Uh, is, Car is Carla coming this weekend? No, she is um, at her, you know, her mm -hmm. friends. So I try, yeah, do that. But I try not to, um, I try not to glue it down to I'm 100% sure. I like the way it is. I like the composition. I like the way it's flowing. And the last thing that I'm going to probably do is put a little bow here, but I got to go to potty break because um, I have small bowels. Okay. <laughs> small, yeah, small, small bladder, not bow. I was going to say, you, you, it's coming out the wrong end. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous, ladies? Is that not gorgeous? Layer upon layer of laces and trims and the flowers. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. I like that word. She prefers like mixed media. She likes doing grungy and all that, but she's her her lace artistry and layering. That's like her her thing there. She's a master at it. See, I'm the one that will be saying, "I can't cover that up." No, but that's too pretty. But I want to use it. But no, because then I can't. I have to cover something else up. <laughs> I want everybody to see everything. What? I said, you're great at layering than me. I'd be sitting there going, oh, but I don't want to cover this up. <laughs> it's it's called um, trying to, what do you call it? I'd hang them from one side of the wall to the other just so I can look at it. It's, it's once you get out of the fear of layering. 
you're, you know, once you get the fear, it's the fear yeah. that you have of layering. Yeah, um, I want to see everything, and like, how am I going to see everything if it's like everything's on top of each other? But you can see it. You can, I know you could. You're you good can, at that. I, you can I, see the layers. You know. Yeah. You know, I, you I, this I, print I, here I, that we have in the store. I, I cut out two pieces from that one. Then you have some of this applique that's in the store. I mean, you can literally see the layers. Um, this one's another applique that we cut in half. We put one here, one there. This is um yes, Rose, the fear of running out. <laughs> the fear of running. <laughs> That's where you have to and it starts out where you have to have you start out a little stash. You start your stash of of stuff, you know. Um but I think that once you get through the fear of the layering, everything comes out. Tammy says, I have to get out of the fear of depleting my supplies. I act like it's the last piece of lace on the face of the earth, and I have to hoard it. <laughs> it's like the toilet paper nowadays. You, know, you, know, you want to hoard the toilet paper, you want to hoard the lace. Now, I do have certain laces and certain things that I do hoard it because it's stuff that's very hard to come across. Now that's when I when I will go into that. Okay, I gotta that's make sure. That, right, that that's the bull. Like, like I have a lot of vintage little laces that I will typically buy, and I don't use that unless I'm doing something that's geared towards something like that. And again, it's very cautiously, very yes, cautiously. <laughs> you know, you use what you have very cautiously. Um. But you just, you got to do it. I mean, you got to use it sometime. If you, you're not taking it with you, I can tell you. That's true. <laughs> you're not going to take it with you. It'd be one fancy coffin, though, no, if you could take it with you. Heaven doesn't take, um, heaven doesn't take um, lace <laughs> as a, as a, as a. Uh, Currency. Yeah. That's not part of heaven's. Um, you get up to the gate and, you know, what does St. Peter be there going, what the heck is all that? Say, Peter, Peter, let me in. I brought you some laces. Oh, that is pretty cool. She had to wait. Tammy says, I have a lace pillowcase my great, great grandma made. I have it wrapped and tucked away. Who has that? Tammy. A lace pillow. Oh, I wouldn't get rid of that. Her that's... great, great grandma made it. Yeah, no, I, that's, that's. That's an heirloom. You yeah. pass it down. Yeah, that's something that I would not cut into. Like the first time I cut a wedding dress, it was it was really hard for me, I have to say. The first time I cut into a doily, I had to ask Michelle Pipley. And there was someone else I asked. I think I asked Sierra because I was so scared to cut into a whole yeah. piece. Of, I had bought this antique um, antique comforter or um, doily, uh, not crocheted bedspread, and it was so beautiful, but it was antique. I had to ask Michelle Pipling and I asked Sierra, okay, how do I do this without destroying it? Because I had never cut into, um, I had never cut into a doily bedspread, a crocheted bedspread. Michelle says, that was fun. Had fun shopping. Love your laces. Ah. Thank the prices are amazing. Yeah, we try to keep it. We try to keep it real because I know I wouldn't want to spend a whole lot of money. We try to keep it real, and I always add. I never tell. I mean, I always add a little gift in there with purchase. Um, as I took, but look at that, guys. This is going to be in tomorrow. These will be in. We'll get them in there. But isn't that gorgeous? You got to put your your name and your, the date on on the back of that thing. The artist. You got to sign your art. Who, me? Yeah, you. You created it. Put your name on the back of that baby. And the date when you created it. All right. We're going to go get some. Um, now I'm going to get some vintage laces. And that's where I'm going to put the dangles probably down here. Some vintage laces. Or oh, something. she's going to put more. Although that, I think that's pretty like that. I think I might just leave it like that. I don't know. Rose says, I love it. 
And Michelle says, when my lace arrives, I will make my first shabby chic book. Hot dad, don't forget uh, to share the group. We do need to do a shabby chic book. That share it in the group when you do it. Yes, absolutely. Share All it with right, your friends sir. too, so they know where you got the laces from. All right, let's get a um, let's get some seam binding. We're gonna add a color pop there of seam binding. Oh. So we're gonna go with a little bit of um, we want a little bit of vintage color, so we want a color pop. We want it to pop out more. Ooh, look at that. Just when you thought she was done, nope. Huh? It suddenly got silent. <laughs> I was about to say I, I was about to say something to you, but I see you picked up on the fact that we were suddenly, suddenly silent. There you go. Oh, that's so cute. Looks like two little pigtails. Oh yeah, that's even better. Good night, Karen. Thank you for coming. If you haven't hit the thumbs up on your way out, please do so. Yes, good night, Miss Karen. Thank you so much for joining us and having fun with us tonight. Good, she already hit that thumbs up. Yay. Thank you. Good night, Michelle. Good night, Michelle. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. You got to take pictures of that and post it in the group because that's awesome. Right. I always fold the monkey. I always call them bunny ears, not monkey ears. Bunny ears, push them, pull them together. And then tuck in where you want to tuck in. And pull back the bunny ears. I replace my glue gun. Literally.
right. And that looks really cute. I'm kind of going to add something here. What are we going to add here? Let's see. We need a brain. We're going to put another flower here. And I don't throw these scraps away because these scraps are really great for making little shabby sheet flowers or snippets or whatever you guys want to call it. They're really good. So fluff these out. I'm going to shape them up to the size. You can even make them smaller. So we're going to make this one just a tad bit. I'm a little... Tammy says, I keep thinking of a butterfly, May. Do you have one? No, I don't. No butterflies. Jean, that's what she did with the with that taupe looking seam binding. Those are bows. That's about it. She says, What about seam binding bows, May? That's what you just did on the left hand side there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be cute if you had like a lace butterfly, an applique. Yeah. Okay. A tea looking one, so it like stands out. Tammy says, so pretty. Ooh, hot. I don't know why that song is on my head. Because you said suddenly seam binding. He says, even though it's full of laces, it still has that dainty quality. Yeah, it's, it doesn't feel like it's all smooshed together. It's airy. I don't think I've done anything shabby, this shabby in a while. Uh, yeah. I think tomorrow we probably will do either. Rose says, can't wait to see the pics. It's gorgeous. Good night, all. Stay safe and sleep well. Good night, Rose. Good night, Rose. Thank you so much for hanging in here with us crazy, crazy, crazy ladies. Say those scraps because you never know. Okay. I love her. What do you guys think? Gorgeous. And all we had to do is add a little thing here, and we can use some of this here. Leftover seam binding. Tammy says, love, 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 all in caps. Beautiful, May says, Patricia. Mm -hmm. 
we could probably have, you know what? We'll save that for something else. Hold on. I haven't done anything shabby like this in a while. Mm. Jean says it's gorgeous, May. Thank you. Right, so we're going to stick it right through that little stick mm. right in here. I will put some hot glue gun at the end of that uh, that uh, the closure just so it doesn't pop open. Oh, it, it has that glue. I'm mean, not glue the oh. paint. It's not moving. Oh, okay. I tried to close it up and I could not, but it's it's close enough, I think, and it has all the fabrics there. It's not going to pop. Yes, because I know I'd probably end up sitting in the corner crying. <laughs> If it did. It should be fine. It should be okay. that tail in there somewhere. Okay. So there we have it. Our shabby chic hoop. There you go. All these little scraps and all this little stuff that we have, I put it in a big old jar, and I kid you not, I do save all that stuff. Yeah. Um. See, I have scraps, and I save all these because this stuff is what we use to make flowers and um, piecework and things like that. But I think she is absolutely stunning. Yes. Look at that. The metal. That we made look like rusty. Look at the bling. Oh. Curls in there. And we could probably put more curls if I wanted to. I could, I could. If I wanted to be more technical, I can take some of these curls and just kind of throw it in here somewhere. Right there. One there. I keep adding. I know. You're probably saying she keeps adding. No, it's perfect. The, the finishing touches. The pearls help to say, look at me, look at me. I love pearls. I absolutely love pearls. Okay, Tammy says, well, sweet ladies, I'm about to face plant my tablet. <laughs> Good, night, Tammy. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Miss Tammy. We're done here. All right, there we go. There you have it. Mm -hmm. I think she looks starling. I think she looks stunning. Yes, she does. And... She definitely has a very cute, charming look to her. Yeah, Patricia says they do look lovely. Look at that. And she's very fluffy. Look at that. So there you guys have it. Okay, so for tomorrow, what we're going to probably do is, um, I don't know. 
if I have my scrap bucket. Um, <laughs> you saw a Patricia Rowe? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> You're too much for me, Miss Patricia. <laughs> she didn't forget that. <laughs> she did not. Eric will not. <laughs> he will not let that one. She's not gonna let let that one go. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, I could. Right? You're right. The ones that he hasn't fixed. Right? I, he fixed the one here. He just has to paint it. <laughs> but that that would be me. He doesn't paint. I'm the one that paints in his house. <laughs> so that would be my job to paint um, because he does not. He, and I repeat, he does not paint. <laughs> um, but guys, that is it. I don't know what you guys want to make tomorrow. What do you guys think that I should make? Well, don't you have to finish the box? What do you have to do with the box? No, I have to wait for the box. Oh, um, you have to, you're waiting for something. For the box, I have to wait for that mold to get here so we can make a little thing that's going to go here. Mm, okay. So yeah, can't do the box tomorrow. Hmm. Well, we have time to think. Ladies, if you have any suggestions, just post it in the group. Yeah, if you have any suggestions of what you think I should make. Let me know. Hey back. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Patricia, you are too much. You're too much. She goes, wow, even prettier tonight, May. Alter a train case, says Jean. A what? A train? A train case. Oh, that train case. Oh, that's right. I do have that train case. Oh, you are right. Yep. Let me look at it and see what I need. I probably need plenty of... Um, modeling, uh, not modeling face, um, uh, gesso, and um, which I have, and um, what fabrics I would use to cover it. And yeah, that would be nice. That would be a nice, nice one. Wink, yeah. wink. <laughs> That'd be a nice one to alter. You're right. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. All right. They're all wonderful ideas. So let's see who else comes up with something great. And if not, that's what we'll do tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see. Decorate a small Pringles can for ATC coins. I've I've decorated an eight a Pringle can and made a purse out of it once in 2014. Um, but a coin? No, she wants you to decorate a Pringles can so they could put in ATC coins. That, that's the thing now, not, and not just ATC cards. Now they do ATC coins out of like uh, poker chips and little round circles, you know. They're like tiny little ATCs. I've never heard of that. Yeah. I'll have to search it up to see what the heck that is. It's a, it's the same thing as an AT, ATC, but you know, but it's just a in the form of a coin. It's a, it's round. Okay, yeah, but so it would be like a token box for the Yeah, like a token box. Yeah, they use like poker chips. Okay. Okay. Or you can, uh, Jean says, or you can decorate a cover for your glue bottle. A cover for my glue bottle? Yeah, decorate your blue, blue bottle. That's, a lot of ladies are doing that too. A cover for my glue bottle, okay. Fancy, <laughs> fancy up your glue bottle. If, I, if you fancy it too much, then it's hard to like grab and squeeze. Yeah, and especially with me with the arthritis. Mm -hmm. I'll have to see. Good choices. Good choices. Um, we'll it's see. Altered, an altered domino charm with laces. Oh, I've done those. I, I have done some of those. 
There you go with all the little pieces that you have left over there. I where did I just see some of those that I just pulled them out? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Yeah, Joyce says it's a two and a half two two and a half inch circle. Okay, I'll have to look up research that because I have not seen anything like that. Like, I don't, you know, I don't normally follow, follow trends, so I don't know what's trending. Um, I I just pulled out some dominoes and I gotta remember where did I pull them from? I just had them just tonight. I had them in my hand. Where did I get those? Wait a minute. Let's think. Let's have a little bit of a thinking moment here, guys. Because I just had some dominoes that I had altered. Hold on. Give me a second because I didn't know how to pull it out. Oh, you're, you guys are not going to believe the mess I have. I guess you guys would believe the mess I have in here already. Already? Well, I haven't cleaned it. All over now yet. I haven't done the other room. I've been waiting for Carla to get here to help. I just pulled out some dominoes, and I don't remember where I saw them, but I had altered some dominoes. 2014, 2015. Hold on a second, guys. Just had them in my hands this evening. If I, if I find them, I'll post pictures of them. Hi, Aristi. Aristi's back. Aristi. Aristi, I don't like you anymore. You're back yeah. just in time that we're finished. <laughs> you lied to me. He has a girlfriend. Uh -huh. And children. And children. He can't do child support. He's in his, he's on his uh, second marriage. He's on his second marriage. On uh, not his first marriage, his second marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not his first marriage, his second marriage. Which is even like, what in the world was he doing? The boy is quite busy. And obviously he's got some issues. He's on his, he's, he's been divorced twice. Divorced twice, not once, but twice. Twice he's been divorced. I can't judge, I'm divorced twice. And but that happens to women. You got idiotic men in, in the world, you know? Oh, look at what Aristi says. She says, and I guess you're single with no kids, mate. <laughs> Oops, Marky. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> he didn't need to know that. That's a need to know basis. He didn't need to know that. That's a need to know basis. That's a need to know, Aristi. He didn't need to know I was I was already on my second second marriage. <sighs> Aristi, you probably would have had an aneurysm with all the layering I did tonight with laces. <laughs> Aristi's like, why woman do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> how beautiful it came, came out to be. So, what time is it? Oh my God, it's 11 o'clock. We've been on here for three hours. Okay, guys, we're going to get off of here. 
and uh, we'll see what we create tomorrow, whatever comes to my mind. I was thinking about something for scissors, like a scissor holder or something like that for, you know, when sometimes yeah. you're traveling, you want something to hold your scissors? A little sewing kit? Yeah. Put little scissors, needles, some thread. And then I saw this, I just saw this, and I'm like, oh my God, that would make a beautiful wall hanging. Look how old and dirty that is. Ooh. And you take a hanger and then you wrap that in and you kind oh my of God, listen to her. She or says, toilet paper roll thingy. Remember back in the day? Oh, I oh remember. my God, toilet paper roll. Yeah, decorate the bathroom. Yeah. Because at least you know he likes exotic women like you. <laughs> you can well, turn it into a pillow. He he he's quite busy, but he is. Damn, I, I was trying to tell my daughter you need to talk to this guy. You're young. You're beautiful. Hit him up. Hit him up, girl, because his girlfriend's not that beautiful. Hit the dude up. <laughs> make him my son-in-law. <laughs> Joyce says, I always wanted to make a sewing book. A sewing book? Yeah. I guess she means like a sewing kit type thing. That's like, what I'm guessing. You know, like a one to put your safety pin and your needles and your um, your scissors. Is that what you mean? Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Well, you guys decide. Put it in the group. Yes, yes, that that's what she's talking about. Okay. Aristi says we have others better looking than him. Yeah, she sent me. She was trying to hook me up, and I'm I'm like Aristi, you are something. Aristi, don't don't let Eric catch you corrupting me. <laughs> he knows that he knows what he has. He knows I don't look. I joke around, but that's you know it's all it's all it's all games. It's all games. It's all fun and games. I don't uh uh I don't play that. But guys, we're going to regroup and um, let me know what you guys want to make. Just let me know. Send me a message, and I will try to figure out what we are going to make next. Um. And I'll see you guys in the group, okay? I thank you. Needle book, a needle book, okay? A journal. A journal. What kind of a journal? A lace journal. A lace journal. Here's a mine. I always try to keep mine separate from the shop. You back, Patricia? You left. A tussy mussy says uh, Aristi. A tussy. <laughs> she so says much. that's tussy massy, but we'll, I, I'm assuming she means tussy mussy. I've done so many of those. What about we have not done a wall hanging organizer? And I got. I at her. Patricia was hiding in the background laughing at us. <laughs> oh, Miss Patricia. I see, I see. So you're a closet troll, are you? Ah, Miss Patricia. This one's so pretty. I like this one. Yeah. Gorgeous. gorgeous. You can do, ooh, look at this. This would be a beautiful little wall hanging. Oh wow, that is pretty. Look at the edge. Oh, that is beautiful. And the cutouts too. Oh, wow. the cutouts, beautiful. Okay, Patricia says, what about one of those girl dresses out of heavy cutout? Heavy paper? Girl dresses out of paper? Or cardstock, you know, like you used to like like you used to do the album. You did it. remember the little girl dresses you did a long time ago? No, she says. What are you talking about? The wood one, she says. 
The little girl dresses. Oh, are I know the wardrobe. She's talking about the wardrobe. Is that what you mean, the wardrobe, Patricia? I would have to design a little. Yes, she said. Wardrobe. That's what she's talking about. Yes. I would have to design a little wardrobe, but. We can keep that in mind. I have to design a wardrobe. Aristi says a pillow, a ring pillow, a purse, a shoe. A shoe. <gasps> An office suitcase. Yeah, we have that. We have that. We have that in um Miss What's her name? Miss G wanted me to alter that suitcase that I got not long ago, which you that is what I would do is alter a suitcase and turn it into like a side table i saw those on pinterest that i would need the, the the camera i i have really bad angle with the camera that would be very difficult to show she just did one of those recently a paper toilet toilet hanger i did that well i didn't do it that was an old video oh i mean i did it but it was uh, it was bringing back an old video that i had already done uh, you know what i mean like I had, um, yeah. I brought a video from the vault. She goes, Patricia goes. Oh wait, none of us have paper toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Notice that she said paper toilet, not toilet paper. Yes, Miss Patricia, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about that. Why I always say it backwards, and Eric makes fun of me. <laughs> Yep, yep, she's she's fast enough. She said I was just being a smarty pants. Papel de toilet. I was just I, I I was I could not understand why everyone calls it toilet paper. Why do they call it toilet paper? I was saying it wrong, but it's just because that's how I say it. That's the Puerto Rican in me. Mm -hmm. The papel de toile. <laughs> what the, what's TD? Okay, I, I'm bad with abbreviation. What does that mean? I think that is way to go, me. <laughs> she's, she's full of, she's full of, look how my desk gets, guys. You see this? You see this? This all the lace, disgusting. The lace, the remains of the laces. <laughs> and I clean this, I clean this last night after we um uh, finished working i really did you would not know that because you guys don't know i'm ocd ocd you know me all right so why don't you guys go in the group and start writing a list of what you guys want me to work on and tomorrow I don't have anything planned. I do. I am going to probably here in a bit start reading my stuff for school. Um, tomorrow, if I can get, I'm not going to promise, but if I can get my schoolwork pretty much read tonight, caught up with reading, I could see about jumping in at 1 Central. If not, it'll be at 7 um, either way, we'll have a class tomorrow. We'll get together. I'll keep you guys entertained while you guys are on lockdown. How's that? Mm -hmm. As long as I can, as long as I have something to make, I'll keep you guys entertained. There you go. Okay. I'll entertain you. I'll be your entertainment. You get, that's a, that'll be a theme song. Let me entertain you. Was that a song? That's from, um, Oh my gosh, that's from uh, Gypsy. Who? Gypsy. Who the heck is that? That is a old movie with um, with I what is the actress's name um, that that drowned jumping out uh, when she was swimming. Wagner's wife, the actress. Uh, what's his name? Wagner. What is her Nat, Nat Natalie Natalie? Oh, what is her last? Can we name? determine he killed her? No, it was never proven. Suspected, but then he was ruled out. I thought they just recently brought it back up and said that he was they they arrested him or they were investigating him because they Natalie Wood, yes. No, he was investigated, but it was never proven. He was clear. I thought they just brought it back up though in the last year. Nah. 
Good night, Patricia. All right. As always. All right, guys. In the group, go write what you guys want me to make or suggestions, not suggestion. Yeah. What suggestion? Not orders, suggestions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What suggestions you have for me? Okay, guys. Love you to pieces till tomorrow. He is Hasta mañana, peace. Hasta mañana. Bye. Bye. Okay, good session, lady.